Hello, everyone. I'm going to wait for you guys all to get here. I'm just going to go in here. Let's see. Comments. Okay, let's see comments. I'm not sure why I can't see comments. Well, I don't know who's watching. Well, any guy, anyway, guys, make sure you guys smack that thumb. Y'all know the rules. Smack the thumb. Share the video. And let's see what we create. Hi, Miss Teresa. How are you, beautiful? Okay. So we're making a little file folder and these should fit like all nice and snug in here. And my idea came from Alagajina Scrap. She's from Spain and she made this cute little caddy. And I thought that is so stinking adorable. So I thought, okay, well, we're going to make it a little bit more sturdier where it's not just cardstock. You didn't get a notification. I know YouTube is such a booty, 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 but now I'm probably going to change a little bit how this here is just because I haven't glued it all down just because I'm just a little bit a stickler like that. And that we're definitely going to change something here. I'm not sure why my screen yard is up. Oh, there we go. There's the comments. Now I can see the comments. Okay. All right. So um, we're going to create this box and we'll create some little file folders um, with it. But first, let's do one box so that you guys can see. And then I'll give you guys directions. You're, you are going to be needing some um, craft cardstock, a 12 by 12. And then you'll need three, and I'm going to put it here in the chat. I don't know how to post these. Let's see, settings. It brought you three here. Hi, Aristi. Okay. So let me go here. Um, So you're going to need three, to make the three little small ones, you need three 11.5 inch by 12 inch craft cardstock. And on the description, I have who created this originally. Not my idea. I would have loved it, but hey, pretty smart. One 12 by 12 inch. Oops, typos, fat fingers. Craft. Card sock. And then your decorative papers to go on to these. And you will need a 12 by 12. At least a 12 by 12 inch chipboard. Okay. So. All right. So before I even get to this, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one so you guys can get at least a basic idea. I was trying to get this done earlier today, but. Um, between one thing and the other, I went to, I think I went to Hobby Lobby twice. I got one thing or the other because, you know, that's how we all roll. We can never get anything, um, you know, while we're at the store at once. And so I was a little behind and it was Valentine's. And so we went out and took Brianna out because the other kids were not here. They're doing their own little things. Ah, you like the measurements in the chat. <laughs> That's good. 
All right. So, guys, smack that thumb. So I kind of miter just a tad bit here and here. Um, just a tad bit. Took a snip with a tiny little snit, smitten piece or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. My English is not very good. Oh, God. Hot. Did I open my room? I'm sorry, what? Hold on a second, Miss Patricia just sent me a message. No hinges today. God, no. No hinges. No. I am not down for that today. Aristi, how's your mom? Guys, if you guys don't know, Aristi has um, some journals she's selling. Um, she's trying to come up for, with some money. And um, they're very reasonable. And Aristi, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, she's got, um, she's got the large ones at, uh, $75. That includes the shipping. Hello, Miss Gloria. How are you, Miss Gloria? Hello, Dalia. Guys, smack that thumbs. She's in pain. Oh, man. Okay, hold on. Miss Patricia just wrote to me because I don't know what she, her message was. My room? Ah, I think my chat. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I think Miss Patricia's confused. <laughs> You're trying to rearrange your craft room. Okay. All right. I think we got Miss Patricia already. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. You couldn't find me. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure you guys um, smack that thumbs. Y'all know how important that thumbs up because, you know, we got some little trolls that like to leave the thumbs down, and that messes up with my algorithm. Um, but we don't encourage trolls here, okay? So if y'all see them come through, ignore them. We don't encourage them. All right, so Aristi's on the panel, guys, and hello. I want to come to you. Okay, hold on a second. I wanted to give you a chance to see if you can go through and talk about your journals. Turn the camera to you. Okay, but are you going to talk about your journals? I'm not in the desk, so I can show them. I can share the link if it's okay. Okay, um, drop it's, the link, but I want you. To, I want you to drop the link, but I want you to tell them about the price because I wasn't sure about price. It's three journals. It's three big ones for $55 uh, with free shipping. And it's two journals with, uh, they are a bit smaller, and it's $35 with free shipping. Okay, and there I'll you go. And then on the videos, is there a price? 
No, on the videos it's not a price, but you can see that which one are the big ones and which are the small ones. Okay, that that's the confusing part. You need to say these three videos are the fifty-five dollars. Yeah, I will, I will put the links. Just a okay. moment. I will put the links in the. You guys are trying to buy some junk journals that are already made, and all you have to do is put your pretty signatures and your pretty yummies inside. Um, as far as journal you know note taking and um, this is the opportunity to buy and that's pretty reasonable because she's shipping from Greece and so the shipping is included in the price you got new storage new storage cabinet at Hobby Lobby today oh which one did you get I see so many at Hobby Lobby I want which one did you get Miss Gloria Okay, she's dropping the links for this. Uh, Hello, Patricia. I'm sorry? Hello, Patricia. Patricia is here. Oh. And yeah. Lynn is here. And Crafting with the Heart is here. Yes, yes. I've been talking to them. But I want you to drop those links, sweetie. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting the links. I'll uh, put the link, first one because I have to copy paste them. Okay, the first one is a $55 one. Yeah, I write it on the. Uh, okay. So these are fifty-five dollars of ones that she's dropping in right now. You guys can go over there and check out the video. It's she'll show you a detail by detail of what's in the journal, and you know it'll make a wonderful gift to somebody if you're looking to gift somebody a beautiful gift for perfect, and it includes shipping, and that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Hello, honeybee. Hi, Pam. How are you, hon? How's the weather over there? We did hear what you said, May. Okay. I hope everyone's having a great Valentine's. I hope so, too. Yes. Happy Valentine's to every single one of you guys. And if you guys don't have a special someone in your life, um, I'm telling you right now, will you be my Valentine's? <laughs> I heart you all. Every single one of you, I heart you. I'm good. It's still hot, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's still... I just saw Miss Kathy and Angela's and she said that there's still that, um, you know, still bad weather there um, in Australia. So I hope you're staying safe, Miss Pam. The Valentine's Day to you, Teresa. Yeah, happy Valentine's to every single one of you guys. I heart you guys. I heart you. I don't have really straight hand, but I heart you guys, okay? Do it the way Koreans do it, with the thumb and the index finger. Um, Don't you know the way Koreans do the heart, with the thumb and the index finger? They join them together and they do a heart. The thumb and the index finger? One hand. Not both hands, one hand. Yes, and... No, no, a heart. You join your two fingers like a heart. Oh, I'm not in the camera to show you. I will show you. You have seen it in, in, in you, you watch Korean drama, so you can see. Hello, Real Brooklyn. How are you? Welcome to my channel. Guys, don't forget Hello, to Real Brooklyn. It's snowing here. Yuck, Miss um, Patricia. Yuck, 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 yuck. I don't know how they do that. I don't have that yes. kind of movement. All right, so we got some cardstock. Place all the links, me. Okay, all right, so did you go? Is that the $55 ones? I, I write the price next to the links. Okay, guys, go smack, go check out her um, 
Aristi's selling her journals. Um, mm -hmm. Guys, find it in your heart to purchase one of these and bring one of those to the U.S. It would be nicely appreciated, guys. She really, really, she really needs it right now, guys. Okay? Thank you, um, me. She really needs it. So if you guys find it in your heart and you guys are looking for $55, it includes the shipping. So that's pretty cheap for a junk journal um, that has been made. And I saw them. They're beautiful, guys. Totally worth it. And I've seen junk journals go for a couple hundred dollars. So that's pretty reasonable, guys. But seriously, she needs the money. Um, so if you guys can do it, I would really appreciate it. If you can't, it's understandable. You don't have to. But you'll get a piece of grease. Imagine that, a little piece of grease, a little piece of a wristy in your hands. Yes, ma'am, Teresa. What'd she say? She's, ask, she's asking if it's PayPal. Is it PayPal? Oh, yes. PayPal, right? Yeah. PayPal as friends and family. Yes, you have to send it as friends and family so she's not... And so we can avoid the extra... Um, yeah, fees. The extra Hello, Nikki. How are you? Hello, Nikki. How are you, Nikki? How's that husband of yours? How's that hubby of yours that we all grew to like? <laughs> you guys don't know, Nikki has the most hilarious husband ever. He's got a wonderful sense of humor. Yeah. Friends and family. Yes, Miss Teresa. She's got several journals that's up it's for five of them. She's got a total of five of them. How many yeah. are, you got three for the 55, right? And two for 35. And two for 35. Smaller. Yeah, they're smaller. So she's got the explanation the, on the videos. And guys. The, the videos, you can see them with details and you can see any, everything. Right. And um, she, she really needs the money, guys. She wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't. She's got an ill. Her mother's very ill right now. Um, and I know that shipping, she pretty much is making enough to get by because I know that shipping can't possibly be cheap. Uh, shipping here, it's, uh, it's all, it's almost uh, the same. Uh, for example, if I ship to Germany or if no, if I ship to China, or if I ship to U USA, or if I ship to Canada, or if I ship to Australia, it's the same price for us. Really? It's two euros cheaper if you ship inside the European Union. And shipping here goes by weight, and uh, it's not uh, the size of the box, it's how heavy it is. Well, it's same here, but they still, they still rip you off. And it's separated in two sections, if you send it in a box or if you send it in an envelope. So yeah. I send it in an envelope usually, because that's way it's cheaper. And also it has to do if you put tracking number or not. If you put tracking number, it's more expensive. So I prefer when I send a happy mail to send it without tracking number. And when I send uh, the junk journals, I always put tracking number, so I want to, you know, suffer the loss, you know be safe so both the I and the buyer will be you know safe and know where the item is You're so both protected. here it's 36 euros per two pounds 36 euros is around 40 dollars per two pounds it's 36 euros per kilo the cost of shipping something internationally which is not that's not too bad yeah, it's actually, you can call it pretty cheap. For example, I have seen envelopes, small envelopes come from USA as a happy mail to have uh, some napkins inside and they will cost uh, $14 uh, for you. 
or uh, had a happy mail that it was sent to me and he had to put some stencils inside. It was stencils, it was completely flat and she paid $12 for that. That's expensive. Yeah, shipping That's expensive. I can ship without tracking number a small junk journal for $12. Oh, not here. I, sh I shipping to international anything here. We have to pay by size and weight. Okay. And here, do that, but it's so. Uh, it's actually more by weight rather than size. So, for example, you can send a huge box, and if it's light, you will pay less than sending a small box. It's really, really heavy. Wow, not here. Here, here they rip you off. And then, and then you see how they ship things. They they damage everything. They don't take care of anything because it's not theirs to take care of. Hello, Karen Montoya. Hi. Um, Thank you, Mendes, for buying the swimming junk journal. Who? Evelyn wants yeah. to buy the swimming junk journal. Thank you, Mendes. Thank you, Evelyn. Oh, that is so wonderful, Miss Evelyn. Thank you so much for doing that. Seriously. She is not, I, I y'all know, I'm, I don't do this kind of stuff, but I know Aristi's conditions are not good right now. And she's not asking for handouts. She's selling her stuff. Um, and she's just trying to, to do what she needs to do for her mom. So I appreciate you guys helping her. I really do. All right. So one thing I want to change when I create this is we're going to put these tabs out in the other side, because I don't like that. So we're going to put some, we're going to put some hinges <laughs> on the inside to cut cover that up just a tad bit. Here are the hinges. So what were the measurements of the hinges? Um, I don't remember the measurements for the other hinges. Or <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> I don't remember. If she wants the, the one with the lady on the front. It's the sewing one. The sewing, the so the sewing one, Teresa. I'll let you guys discuss that. Y'all know what y'all are talking about. My favorite is the one from uh, the botanical one from um, I use a, a lady's diary book. You know, we we get those. I like that one that you have with the... Yeah, I got one from Mebay because it's cheaper to buy books from Mebay than buy <laughs> books from my country, believe it or not. So I got one from Mebay from UK and I remove the pages and I use the cover and varnish the cover to look like leather. And inside that. that journal, I like it. I love it because inside it's not printables. All the pages are normal pages from books and chronicle books and stuff like that. Yeah, I think that's the one with the like it looks like leather in the front. I like that one. Yeah. Even though the, the, the cover is extremely simple because I didn't decorate the cover, I only put some metal on the cover. And also I did a lot of uh, hand sewing in that with you know embroidery thread. Yeah, I saw that you sewed the edges. Yeah. But that one is my favorite because it's a real book and it's the first one I made that it has original pages, you know, not printables. All right. I'm right now, I'm going to, as soon as I figure this box out, we're going to do another box. Um, this one With hinges? Where is Penny to tell you about the hinges? 
Uh, no, we're not doing hinges, hinges, but we're going to cover up those edges because I don't like my edges to be like that. And the way the girl did it, she didn't cover that edge, and I don't like my edges to be like that. I don't. I don't, I don't. Okay. So it should have cut more, but I didn't. But we'll do that when the time comes, I guess. Okay. All right. Teresa, say that you're going to mute me. I'm going to mute her. I I think she probably. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I say about the hinges. Yeah, I know. I'm not, not going to mute her. I want to smack her. <laughs> Don't worry, Teresa. Maybe live in freedom of speech. <laughs> he won't mute you, but he will smack you. <laughs> and say whatever he, you want, but he will hit you if you don't like what you say. Yes, Miss Teresa, you know how I do it. <laughs> freedom of speech, absolutely. Amen to that. Thank God for the great U.S. of A. We can speak our minds. <gasps> I don't know what I would do if I was in another country and I tried to speak my mind and they would probably arrest my ass. <laughs> like Korea. North yeah, Korea. Korea, you can't speak your mind. They would... They would, you'd be gone, disappeared in the middle of the night. You'd be disappeared. Cuba is the same way they disappear you. You disappeared. No one knows you. No one saw you. No one cares to know about what happened to you. They're all minding their own business. Say, we will have never met our sweet May. Where is Lourdes? Where is Penny? I think she's trying to recover. She's been sick. Still? Oh. No. But or she... Her son might be home. I don't know because I saw that he was saying his mom's cooking. So she he might be just home. I think she's trying to recuperate from whatever she's had. Now we're going to put some hinges on that. Y'all know I don't like my corners to look kind of chumpy. This doesn't roll with me. like got the hinges. Yeah, we're, we're going to put some hinges in a, some shape or form, Aristi. I don't believe that it was anyone in that life that day that didn't have afterwards nightmare about hinges. I did. I had nightmares after that night. I sure did. Hey, Miss Penny. Hey, Rajul. Guys, don't forget to smack that thumb. Miss May, happy Valentine's to you too, Raju. Happy Valentine's to you, Miss Penny. How was your day? Did you get a heart? I got a heart. Did you get a heart? I got a heart. I got hearts. I will do the next box different because I don't like those edges. The way she has it, she has those little edges open. See, I don't like that. That's not my, that's not a finished look to me. Mom's birthday. It's your mom's birthday today? Oh, She was born on St. Valentine's Day. Oh, Miss Penny, I got to get you that link to the chipboard. Remind me again, because when you told me I was I was making my second run to Hobby Lobby because I forgot to get the crap. I went in there to get crap paper, specifically went in there to get that crap paper. I walked out with a puzzle for Brianna and her second teddy bear for Valentine's Day. I don't know how she managed to pull that one. 
but she got a second teddy bear for Valentine's Day. Walked out with things for her, but I did not walk out with what I needed. So I had to go back. Yesterday was your mom's birthday? Aww. Well, I'm sure she's joining all of our lovely friends up there in heaven that's gone up there, like Miss um, Judy and all the other wonderful ladies that we've all come to love. Oh, darn it, I don't like the way that looks. Oh, it's Benny. Okay, we're going to definitely yep, yep, yep. All right, I'm going to see the paper. Hmm? Um, Benny, uh, sorry, Evelyn invoiced me there, and I will post on Monday. Hello, Buford. Hey, Buford. Yeah, Jude is here, Buford is here, Penny is here. Hello, Jude. Hello, Buford. How are you, Buford? How's life treating you? Did you have a Valentine's Penny say hi, boyfriend. So Penny and Buford are a thing. Buford, oh, it's you didn't you were holding out on us Buford you didn't tell us that you and Miss Penny were a thing yep you were holding out on us Buford hello Patricia back okay Patricia's back okay Penny's uh, you know uh, how do you call it when when somebody's Place innocence and then it's you know underneath it's a volcano. Penny revealed her real color. She said, Hello, boyfriend. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, love is in the air, as uh, Evelyn say. Love is definitely in the air. Yeah. Do they live close to the same state? Um, no, I believe, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Are you guys close? I don't know. I think they're holding out on us. I didn't know that they were boyfriend and girlfriend. Yeah, she, she revealed it as soon as Buford C came, Emily say hello, boyfriend. <laughs> she revealed it. Who revealed it? Evelyn or... Evelyn revealed it or, or Miss Penny? Penny, Penny. Oh, oh. Anybody else interested in a risk these journals? I'm going to become um, the price is right. Anybody else? How many do we have left, Arisky? Four. Four? Two for, two for 55 and two for 35. We got two left for 55 and two left for 45. Anybody else? Going once, going twice. <laughs> Come right. on. Does anyone have a stone stuck in their head? A stone stuck in their head? Evelyn said, does anyone now have the song stuck in their head? What, uh, what song, Evelyn? What song are we supposed to have stuck in our head, Miss Evelyn? And Penny said, I had to hurry today. It's almost gone. Y'all being so naughty already. We haven't even started the night. Penny had to hurry to find her Valentine's. She had to find her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the day is almost gone. <laughs> Some viewers did, huh? <laughs> yeah, viewer was the lucky one. <laughs> You for you are it. You are the woman of the hour. You just came in to rescue Miss Penny from, from her, yeah. her last ability to find the right man for her for the night. Yeah, you have to be her Valentine now. Yes, you gotta be her Valentine's now. And if you're not, if Maybe you're not I'd like to you for you know some Valentine's Day. <clears throat> They're, I think they live close to each other, too. I really do. <laughs> Mandalene say, my Valentine is sleeping already. And it's only 11 p.m. in New York City. Oh, um, 
Um, my Valentine is sleeping too. It only it's he's been sleeping for the past hour, and it's only ten eleven here. So I know exactly what you mean, um, Dahlia. My Valentine is already snoring. And that's why we are all here crafting together, say Mandalini. <laughs> yeah, because our Valentine's they uh, they uh, bailed out. <laughs> Penny say, and if you are not, then May you will will get you real good, right, May? Yes, right, Buford. If you're not, if you're not gonna be their Valentine's, then you're we gonna get it from me. Leave, man. <laughs> You're going to get it from me, mister. The crafting ladies will attack you. Yep. Because if you don't see to bling you, <laughs> then you will get damaged. You got to let us bling, bling you, Buford. You got to find that woman for you. Anyway, who's, who's, who's asked his permission? Like it or not, that, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes, Rupert. You belong to these ladies here. You can't be cheating on us, Rupert. They got their eyes on you. No heartbreaking tonight, says Ben. <laughs> he said, Happy Valentine's. <laughs> he said, Happy Valentine's, Miss Penny, to you. Got this paper from um, Hobby Lobby. Use my forty. It was fourteen ninety nine. I'll show you here in a second. It is Prima's, um, and I'm not normally like a lavender kind of girl, but I thought it was pretty. Um, and I just wanted to demo it for you guys on this. I don't. I'm not a fan of Hobby Lobby paper per se, unless it's like authentic or Prima. Um, their paper quality is not very good. The brand, the Hobby Lobby brand, is not that good. So, Crafting with the heart, say I don't get myself into this mess. And you say, you say, neither I have the best one. Sorry, Buford. <laughs> and Penny say, oh, thank you, Buford. Buford, don't say it with words. Say it with actions. It's Valentine's Day, and you're Penny's boyfriend. What will you do? <laughs> Send, send, yeah. send Penny the link. Did you get your microphone fixed, Miss Penny? So we're not here. I'm here. Did you get your microphone and headsets ready? All right. We're going to put this here. In a typical world, this is... Oh, that, but it still looks pretty. We kind of hit it. So that's doable. I think that's doable. Where's the link, Penny? You, you're giving it to her, Aristi? Yeah. Aristi still has two journals for fifty-five and two for thirty-five. Anybody? Any takers? They're fully done. All you have to do is put your your beautiful messages in there. Any takers? Any takers? Crafting with a heart. Say, boy, may if you get your hands on my paper collection, you will have a party. Oh, well, did you see my paper? I have that paper. It's pretty. Here, okay, you don't, okay, don't judge my craft room, okay? Please do not judge my craft room. It is a disgusting mess right at the moment because I, I'll be straight up honest. I've been busy with schoolwork. Look, that's my crafting paper. Can you see it? You see the two shelves? <laughs> yeah. Right here. This is it. This is my paper. <laughs> Chipboard cardstock cardstock and here's cardstock paper and paper that's my paper <laughs> that's my mess don't judge me <laughs> it is disgusting <laughs> oh well it's my mess but i love it it's probably the messiest i have ever seen this craft room but 
with me with school and everything else i just have not i get in here clean it and just when i think i've cleaned it i come in here and make another big old mess usually when i clean i just put one things from one side to the, the other, other side paper, it's, and I dust it. it's pretty well see the other papers that i was looking at prima is the africa because i'm oh, not prima hobby lobby hobby lobby had the apricot honey which was 24 sheets for 19.99 i was like nope ain't buying it and they had the one with the feathers uh for 19.99 again 24 sheets and i said nope don't like it and so i thought okay 30 sheets 14.99 40 percent coupon i can deal with this lavender color and lavender it will be because i got it for 14.99 minus 40 percent coupon heck yeah And all I was doing is demoing this for you guys. So y'all can use whatever paper when I'm done. I'm going to fix this here. And then I'm going to show you guys how you guys are going to put it together. So y'all get your little, get your craft paper, get your shipboard ready. Get your card stocks ready. And here in a couple minutes, we'll get this going for y'all. <laughs> okay, you won't believe what happened. Jude what? was asking me the link for the journals, and I I, I, I go I went and wrote, okay, Jude, give me a second. I, I want to write this. And I wrote, give me a sex. <laughs> <laughs> you have some dirty, dirty, naughty, naughty going on in your head. I, I can help it. Even, even the keyboard uh, sabotaged me. <laughs> yeah, you know what she's thinking about, ladies. Y'all know I, what she's got. I'm hungry. Okay, when you're hungry, you're thinking about food. I can help it. <laughs> okay, when you're hungry, hey Joey, how are you, hon? Hello, Joey. Oh, I gotta take my sweater off. I got like three sweaters pile up in the chair behind me because I get come in here, I'm cold, then I get hot. I don't know what it is. It's that free menopause crap. Cold, hot, cold, hot. Oh my god, make up your damn mind, woman. All right, I think this looks really lovely. Good, how's everyone doing? We're doing great, Joey. How are you? How How is life on Joey's end of his crafting world? Put that in front, it's, it's doable. Who's going in? Oh, let's see. Okay, gotcha. All right, hold on a second. I'm gonna send you the link. Hold on. Hold on, Aristi. Check this out, Aristi. I put the floral. Uh, let me see what's all this. Oh, the next ones are these ones. Sorry, crafting with the heart. I think she's on her phone, and that's why she's okay. She's the, she's deleting messages, Miss Penny. Miss Penny, Penny you're deleting messages. Yeah, Miss Penny, you need to get on your laptop or Miss um, Penny got. Miss Penny got, I think she got finger happy when she saw a griefer come in. That's why. That alone is on your YouTube. You don't want me to message you. Yeah, well, I can't understand one, but. He's, uh, Jude say, Aristi, sorry, Han, that link is to your YouTube. Do you want me to message where? It's the links for the videos for the junk journal. So you can see the junk journal free flip through. Yeah, that's how she's showing you how it looks because um, she can't show that her face or show that because her mom's sleeping and her mom's not feeling good. It's 6 a.m. here. Yeah. And she doesn't want to wake up her mom. Plus, it will take a lot of a lot of time to show them because there are many pages, so they can see it in details in the videos. Uh, 
All right, so here's a box. I'll get my little fingers in here. I would change on this as I would definitely, it definitely, like I would not leave that crisp edge. Like to make it really sturdy, you really need a hinge and you really need that chipboard because it makes it a lot more sturdy. So where's my box? Oh. So here's a little file. You're going to make three of these and they go snug in there. And then you put little claw feet on here. So I'm going to get my little claw feet um, to go on here. And then we'll put some metal embellishments. She did a really beautiful job. I wish the Prima paper that she used was still available because it was absolutely stunning. Um, and so this is what we're going to make the three files that goes on here. And then we'll just finish decorating this up a little bit. So, all right, let's move some of this out of the way. Put that over there. Get this cleaned up. Penny won't join May in the stream. She won't. Why won't she? We need a. I will send her again the link in Facebook this time because I didn't send it in Facebook. I posted oh. it in. Yeah, before I posted it in. The um, chat. Yeah, but now we'll send it again in Facebook. All right, ladies, y'all ready for this? All right, let's get this. Let's get this party started for y'all. All right. You're going to take a piece. First, we're going to create the box, which is the bottom of this here. Okay. This is what you're going to create. Um, you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of... Hello, um, Scrapbook Loft. Hello, welcome. Hello, welcome. Scrapbook Loft. What is your name, Scrapbook Law, so we can write your name, so we can always welcome you every time you come in with your name? And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it. Guys, if you haven't smacked that thumb, please smack that thumb because i got a little troll that likes to um, leave, me, me, leave me their little thumbs down and that messes up with my algorithm. No, it still counts as thumbs, so it doesn't mess it. Yeah, the, but it, it ruins the percentage. Only message it, you, it, it only messages it, messes it, sorry, if the thumbs down are uh, one third of the thumbs right. up. <coughs> that's, that's what happened. Like, I have videos that I have um... Does it, it work? He, yes, yes Penny. I mean. Welcome, Penny. Thank Same you. Penny. Your boyfriend. <laughs> oh, Judy, welcome. Thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, so um, so what happens is like we have it right now. I have eighty percent because I. It looks like I have more thumbs down than I have thumbs up. I so get, that. So I get like eighty percent of my my algorithm is at 80 percent because it looks like i have more thumbs up than our uh, thumbs down than thumbs up okay guys let's not give this troll any mind all right you're going to get your 12 by 12 piece of craft or any cardstock you want cardstock um craft cardstock is better because um it's a lot thicker um and a lot sturdier okay these are wild. It sounds like you're in stereo. I sound like I'm in <laughs> stereo mode. It sounds really good. I look. I sound like I'm in a stereo. You sound like you're in, like it, you know how a stereo has that good sound. Oh, okay. So I maybe it's uh, your device, uh, Penny, because here it sounds yeah. okay. Hi, Sabrina. Yeah. 
Do I sound like I have a sexy voice? It is. I used to be on a radio once. <laughs> a Spanish. A, yeah. Um, I had. I was on TV the other day from Create and Craft. Really? I got to talk. Yeah, I got to talk live. No way. Yeah. What was ordering? See, you just read it. I didn't order anything. I was just watching. You didn't order nothing? No. Y'all now, y'all know we all, all fall for that. <laughs> you didn't buy nothing. I didn't, I promise. <laughs> you did you did I, I, did, I, I almost did, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, got <laughs> I don't believe her, but okay. All right. I really didn't. If I would have bought something, I'd have seen it too. Yeah, I promise. <laughs> Box measurements, guys. Here it is. 12 by 12 piece of cardstock or chipboard. No, cardstock. Yeah, half cardstock. Sorry, I get confused. And you're scoring at... Um, one and five eight and three and three eight. Oh, here and goes the measurements. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying a word. Shut up. Shut up, y'all. Shut up. <laughs> three and three eight. Five and five eight. Count that yeah. again. <laughs> Hush, ladies, hush. Let me put my glasses Don't on. Don't forget the hinges. <laughs> hush. Okay, ladies. They're being mean to me, but by, by gosh, we're going to get this right. Okay? I can't see the time. My eyes are going to go down. So we're scoring at one and five, eight. That's five over eight. Shut up. <laughs> one and five, eight. And then we're going to score at three and three eight. So one and five eight and three and three eight. And you're going to turn it. And again, one and five eight. Be good. Don't bully me. And three and three eight. And then you're going to turn it again. And the same thing. By three and three eight. And last, so all four corners you're going to score at one and five eight. And let me guess three and three eights. And yes, Aristi's so smart, she guessed correct. Wow. <laughs> she I had so, my hand up first. She, she's so smart, she gets a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> she's I'd like to have a brownie right now. She's so smart, she wins a brownie. Yeah, like the dogs, when they do something good, you give them a cookie. Yes. All right. And then we're going to... One gonna and five eights by three and one eight. Yes. Or and three eights. Yes. And yeah. then we're going to we're gonna cut. Get your cutter out. Let me cut. Let me, let me, I was trying to be lazy and not move my, my scoreboard. And then you're going to cut um, for your base a piece of chipboard that is... Um, Five and one eighth by five and one eighth, a piece of chipboard. Okay, that's, that's square. It is five and one eighth. Wow, eight. maybe you're so smart. <laughs> I know my shapes. She's smart. She 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 went to um, get an education. I went to kindergarten, but I fell first grade. Did you? <laughs> I didn't go to kindergarten. They didn't have it. They didn't have that when I went to school. I didn't get to go to kindergarten or Head Start. One piece of chipboard, guys. <coughs> Do you know anybody's ever failed kindergarten? I've heard of people that's failed kindergarten. Uh -huh. I, I failed second grade. I got a legitimate reason. My mom's sister went to the first grade for four years. Are you serious? No. Nope. What? That's, that's she wanted. Letters. She wanted really, really to to learn that they're really, really good. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> That's nice. She wanted to be the tallest kid in class. <laughs> Nikki say Penny is so smart that she could cut herself. Penny is so sharp she could cut she herself. She wanted to be the tallest kid in class. That's pretty cool. You all, do you know the lead bedders that uh, Jerry Clower talked about all the time? Who? Jerry Clower, that comedian, Jerry Clower. Never heard of him. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he said it's Ray Dale, Odell, you know, that's all had Dale. He said he was in the seventh grade seven times. He got stuck in he got stuck in the dance. <laughs> all right guys, I'm giving you guys um five and four, one eight. Uh, Risty, I can't see chat on my on my phone, so if anybody says anything to me, you have to tell me, please. Benny, go write it down. You will get a test about them. Oh my gosh! Yeah, and don't forget the hinges. One and five eighths by three and three eighths, <laughs> or was it three and one eighth? I can't remember. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack both of y'all. Every both of you are gonna get smacked. No, I'm serious. I don't have nothing to write on. I want to memorize mm -hmm. it. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have to go back to the chat. I and mean, if I, if I, if I, okay. Okay. At, I can delete it, so you can't go back to the chat. Okay. Hmm, how you like that one? I'll replay it. <laughs> Penny. Yeah. Go to your corner, and while you are in the corner, put some hinges on the corner. <laughs> make it square. Gotta make it square. That is a pretty box, so I love that paper. Okay, here we see May trying to teach you and try to give you the measurements and being professional and being serious. Yeah, I'm, 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 being, I'm being very professional, ladies. And and you have been bullying her. It's not. It's not. I, I, thank you, Aristi, for taking notice that I am being very, very being bullied. Very, I say that ten times. Very bullied. Very bullied. I'm being very, very serious and professional here. I'm giving you all the measurements. Yeah, I'm giving you guys the measurements and everything. Gosh, guys, you know, give me some credit here. You just I get think... mixed up on them eights, don't you? <laughs> no, I only get messed up when you're running your mouth. That's the only time I get I'm so up. sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You yes, are... I am. I wouldn't have you mad at me for the world. You're not sorry. You're not sorry, Miss Penny. You like you like you like harassing me. I, 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 like I, right? I wish you had that. I miss it. What? Stop telling you to cover your ink pad. Did I have it open? I don't know. I wish I said I wish you did. I said I miss getting to tell you that. <laughs> well, I think I think I think I, you've engraved it in my head enough that I just kind of already learned um but seriously that is a good tip to cover your ink pads because it they dry out fast don't they yes they do miss penny yes they do didn't you have to buy more of that hopefully we'll you know well we have um a sugar daddy that can buy it for us yeah you don't pay there for it joyce Hello, Joyce. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. I don't beg. They don't like you, Miss Teresa. They call me teacher's pet. <laughs> <laughs> Risty did that. Yeah. I did. No. There goes <laughs> Teresa. Kiss, kiss. Okay. <laughs> she will start kissing May's butt. Okay. Oh, kissy, kiss butt. She's the, you know, the, the teacher's pet that will bring her cookies, will bring her flowers, will bring her gifts. So he, 
<laughs> she buys her A's. <laughs> Risky and I have to think hard and concentrate on them A's. <laughs> yeah, she say I will bring apples and cookies. You see, he admitted. All right, yeah, I'm showing y'all the basic. Y'all can make it pretty and put all the prettiness in it, into it, okay? Um, I, I've translated the video and I've added some umph to it because, you know, we got to have protection for our, our box. We want this stuff to last a long time, not break down in the middle. When you mat and layer, do you use the uh, one-eighth or a quarter usually? One-eighth. Do you? Well, it depends if, if like for this, so, so for instance, well, I leave a one eighth border. Yeah. If it's five, I will go, um, I'll take a quarter inch the mat. Um, that way it's, there's a quarter inch. I mean, an eighth of an inch all the way around. Yeah. You, you take away an eighth, not take, a quarter. I, I take away, um, actually I take away a quarter. So if it's five inches, I make it four and three quarters. Oh, okay. Because you've got an eighth on each side. Yeah. An eighth on each side, right. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. All right, guys. I think I got everything cut for this. And if I don't, I probably don't. I don't think I do. No, I don't. Because we're making another box. So we got to cut more. Give me a second. Where's my paper, guys? Where's that for my paper? I just had it here, right here. I might just go. Um, Is Joyce the plumber stalker in here? Who? Joyce, the Miss, plumber stalker. Is Miss Joyce Plumber here? No. Yeah. I don't think he's here. No. Uh -huh. We're gonna go with this. If the plumber, Penny, if the plumber was there, Joyce wouldn't be here. No. <laughs> yeah, think of that. She I don't know, Aristi. You said she not to do it so Google and the whole earth can see. <laughs> no, that was I, with the president on the roof. I still want to know who the president you know, is. You know, yeah, well, I'm still wondering what B meant. Eh, the good one it was a good one. We never under we never got to to know what B meant. Remember, she was supposed to tell us what, what B under uh, stood for. Oh. Big. What else? <laughs> oh, he was big. Oh. Beautiful big. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been big for something else. Or, you know. George is Penny and Aristi with me. My thing's not crackling. Yeah, I see. That's a good thing. You got Maybe. headsets. Huh? Yeah. When I was talking to you yesterday, I picked up my phone to reply, and it was so huge. Mm -hmm. Everything was just so huge, and I had to take it over to, the sh over to uh, Verizon, and they put in a new Sims card and gave me some plugs for my ears. And then we need four pieces that are one and a half by five and one eighth. We need it long size though. We need to go five and five and one eighth this way. But I did get to talk to Martin on creating craft. Did you? He said, oh, I love your accent. <laughs> Teresa is bullying us, Penny. He's called us troublemakers. Teresa? Teresa's yeah. not a bully. Uh-oh. She's, she's got a mark on her card. No, Miss Teresa is not a bully. No way. Yeah. No. Because, she's doing it behind the teacher's back. Because he kisses. No, not Miss Teresa. Uh-uh. No. Not make nope. bad. No Not teacher's bad. Nope. Nope. Try again. I used yeah, to be teacher's pet. Teacher's pets are always the innocent ones. Miss, miss, listen, miss, 
Miss Penny, I used to be the teacher's pet. <laughs> I did in fifth grade. My teacher, uh, she let me file all of the papers that we did the work and put them in the files for the students. Uh -huh. And I'd do it in the back of the room and I would do it pretty slow, you know, because I'd take my time. And she got mad at me one day for something. And she let Ron the Bishop do it instead. And she told Ron that she said, you're going to have to go sit down. You're doing it too slow. <laughs> and put me back up there. Teresa saying as watch and learn how to be teacher's pet. It's provocative. <laughs> Just poor, tells poor watch Ms. and learn. Clarkson, she had uh, 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 Parkinson's visit. Parkinson's, bless her heart. She, her little head. Who did, your teacher? Yeah. Now that I'm older and know, know about what, what it what, what it is, I felt sorry for her now. I used to get picked to go and um, uh, clean out the erasers outside. Oh, yeah, you told me that. Go ahead. And I liked it. I, I thought I, I felt special. Yeah. I felt special. When I got to do that. All right, my ladies. Okay. I think I got everything cut. Hinges is cut. The matting. The outside piece. Uh-huh. Let's see. One. That one. Yeah, I think we got it all cut. All right. Let's go back. Okay. So, I'll go back to this. So, now you have that scored, right? And now you're going to take the scissors and you're going to trim up in the bottom four corners where you scored you're going to go up this way and cut Annie, your boyfriend is back okay you're going to go there and cut you go buy me flowers and then you're going to go over here and cut okay then you're going to turn it and you're going to cut over here and cut that and then you're going to cut this little square here, and you're left just, just with that one, okay? And these little three triangles, or not triangles, I, I failed kindergarten. These squares. Squares are gone. But I think what you had in mind is, don't you cut, you cut triangles to take out the bulk? No, you don't actually. Joy said that to Teresa that he gave to teach her enough apples for her to open a fruit stand. Wow. That was, yeah, that was good, Joy. Joy, you way to go. All right, so back to the teacher over here. So then we're going to go back to this other little corner here with the four little blocks. And we're going to cut here up to that score line, click here, up to that score line. And then you're gonna trim here. And then you're gonna trim there. On the next one, take a little pen and mark the X's of the ones they cut off and they can see it better. Yeah, we're gonna do that. You're so smart. All my exes live in Texas. Texas is the place I want to be. Yep. There. There you go. That looks good. There we go, guys. We're going to tram. Turn. Y'all figure it out. I don't have steady hands. I don't. I shake. I do too. I, 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 I'm not a good cutter. I've never been good at holding. I haven't either. And as much as I love to sew, I <laughs> still I, could, I got by with it. I couldn't. You know, when Brianna was in elementary school, um, the teacher was always saying, why does she hold her scissors weird? I couldn't figure out why my child was always getting, teachers are always complaining how she held her scissors. Well, it's because I held my scissors funny and I had to change the way I was holding my scissors so she could change how to hold her scissors. Oh. 
She learned I'm left-handed, so it's hard when you're trying to cut left-handed with right right-handed scissors because you can't see where you're cutting really. Okay, guys. So now you're left with this kind of funny-looking shape, right? All right. So then you're going to grab your bone holder and you're just going to score and burnish where you need to burnish. Okay, here, there. Um, you don't do anything to that. You're going to put tape here on the top, on the top parts. So here you're going to put tape. I wonder, Joyce is saying, I was always teacher, but I have no idea why. I wonder why, Joyce. I wonder why. <laughs> Joey was a teacher's pet. She she wonders why. Joy Joey or 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 jo Joyce. Oh Joyce. Joyce. Joyce boring. I wonder why. Yeah, I wonder why she was a teacher's pet too. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> She looks so sweet, I think. All right, so then you're going to score these as best as you can. Or burn the shot, score it. You've already scored it. Now, the way she did it, she didn't. She just did on cardstock just like that. And you can do it just like this if you want. I went and put the chipboard. Why did I put the chipboard? Because I want my box to be sturdy and feel like it's a box you know because after you start putting stuff into your little mini file folders we want it to last yeah. yeah this starts to fall apart and this will start to weigh down if you're putting little things in here it's going to start to weigh down and you want that to last so um i thought okay that needs that needs to have something a little bit more sturdier in there oh can i tell you what i was trying to tell you the other day about putting those up uh dividers in i was saying put the tape on the divider before you put it in oh i i figured out another way to do it and i'm gonna it, do it yeah i figured out another way that you don't have to do it the way i did it the hard way so i've got a video coming on how i explain that because i figured out another way that was a lot easier after i did it and it doesn't you don't have all those hinges to worry about so there will be no hinges on the 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 next the, the next. Oh, okay, one. that's awesome. So I figured out another way because again, we I had a shortcut that I was like, uh -uh, we got to shortcut this. Okay, all right. So then we're left with this. We're putting tape on this. Now you can put wet tape or of course this um, score tape. You mean wet glue. Yeah, wet tape or wet glue. Yes, yes. <laughs> Y'all understood it, right? Oh, well, I just figured you'd be getting some questions. What's wet glue? What's wet tape? Mm -hmm. I knew what you're saying. I never I can never hold this roll of uh score tape. It bothers my hand to hold it. Put it on your <laughs> wrist. Put it like a bracelet. I've tried that, but it hurts me to do it. Like I see everyone do this. To me, it hurts me to do this. Like, I can't. Well, I put it on my wrist and just. It just, it's, it, my fingers don't hold, like, they don't. Have so that, that you don't have to hold the roll. It, I don't have that dexterity in my, my fingers like other people have. Like, I can't. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Oops, guys, it hurts. Did everyone have a nice Valentine's Day? They did because that was their Valentine's. That's sweet. <laughs> I got a Valentine in the mail. It's so cute. It's made out of pipe cleaners. Who from, did you uh, get it from? Uh, Sarah Dot. Who's that? She's in one of my groups. That swap that I'm doing. Oh, oh. Okay. Joyce didn't have a good Valentine's Day. She says no, no, no. Oh, Miss Joyce. If you're breathing, that's good. Yeah. There's always yeah. something to be thankful for. But heck yeah, guys! If you're just coming in and you're in the back lurking, please smack that thumbs. Just say hi. Say hi to me. We won't bite. 
Who's only we Miss Penny kissy, does. Kissy. We might kissy kissy, but we won't bite. Only Miss Penny bites. That's all I know. Teresa will kiss kiss, and Penny will bite. <laughs> I, yeah. prefer, I prefer spank. <laughs> Oh, Miss Penny likes it. Yeah, Penny likes hard. Don't, call, don't start calling me spanky. That is a pretty shape. What is it? it? When you lay it box flat, it's a pretty shape, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks like it's cross. It's it? good for if you had a shape like that, right? Jerk. Drone, you could zing, what is it? Zenta zing tangle it. Mm -hmm. Zing tangle it. I'm going to go put some tape on this because it was, the sticky tape was not. The liquid tape. That, the liquid, the liquid glue. <laughs> when I'm stuck, when my mind has, has something and it's, and it's, and it's, and it's, when I have something stuck on my mind, it's hard to get it out. So, Penny. What? Was that the message for Beaufort to call you Spanky? <laughs> Did he really? Beaufort, I think Beaufort runs whenever he hears us talking about him. I think yeah. he scared. He's like, uh, uh I ain't messing with those crazy nuts. Well, we we're, <laughs> we're the best friends he ever had. That's right. But you know something? When a guy runs, let him leave. You want a brave one. That's coming from a rookie. Yeah, you want a brave one, not a scary one. Oh, let me tell y'all something. This joke. This lady got ma she got married for the fourth for it'd be her fourth marriage. The first time she married a banker. Second time she married um wait a minute, let me think. You even know that you oh, uh, uh, Elvis impersonator. And the third, uh, she married an undertaker and they said, Why in the world after you married all these prominent men, why would you want an undertaker? She said, Well, I want uh, I was, I married, uh, what is it, shoot, one, let's see, one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, now go, cat, go. <laughs> go what, girl? <laughs> I, I love the way she tells us a joke, and she doesn't tell us all the way, because she cracks up halfway through it. I'm sorry, <laughs> the, her first marriage was a banker. Uh-huh. Her second marriage was a Elvis that impersonator. Uh-huh. And the third was an undertaker. Okay. And they said, why in the world did you marry an undertaker? And she said, well, I went for one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Now I got to go <laughs> <laughs> to get me ready to go or whatever. Get her ready. Undertaker. Get her ready to go uh, six feet under. Yeah. So she was planning to leave before he left. <laughs> yeah. Is she a cougar? I'm sure I didn't tell it completely right, but that was the essential of it, you know. Y'all don't know Miss Penny. She can never tell us a full joke without laughing. I'm so Sorry. sorry. I can't help it. Snorting. I crack myself up. I can't help it. <laughs> when you're by, when you're alone as much as I am, you have to entertain yourself. <laughs> And I think, okay, so now we're going to miter this little end here, just a tad bit, to the score line. And Miss, um, uh, everyone's going, mm. <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. Um, Nikki's like, um, okay, Miss Penny. <laughs> I had um, a friend that whenever he was saying a joke, we were saying, okay, wait for the summer. Why? So, because here when a joke is bad, we say it's a cold joke. It's cold. cold joke. Yeah, <laughs> so we were telling him, wait for the summer. <laughs> All right, Miss Penny, wait for the summer. Come on, she's a friend. Love. 
He's a friend. Be supportive. Did I, did I upset everybody? <laughs> you have to be supportive. Miss Penny cracks up on me. I got to crack up on her. That's my opportunity to crack up on her. Oh, I've never heard you laugh so hard in your life. Is that not about uh, uh, boot knocking? Oh, my goodness. I think you couldn't even breathe. Wait a minute. Somebody else was saying they were boot knocking the other day. Who I know it. You was texting me. You was trying to get me to to uh, remember. And uh, uh, Lulu was saying, I know she's talking about me. I know she's talking about me. <laughs> And you, you finally texted me and told me, and I said, "Oh yeah." <laughs> who was who was on our chat the other day that was talking about boot knocking? Though. Me. Oh, that's right. You said you were dreaming about boot knocking. Yeah. All right. So we're this is our hinge, and so our hinge is one, one by one and three fourth. One by one and three fourth. And yes, I am correct about that. And we're going to score. It goes the inches. And we're scoring it at a half inch. That's the only hinge I promise you that you're going to make tonight. Okay. So to all my haters out there, Penny and Rizzi. I would have scored it and then cut it. It would have been a whole lot easier to hold. Well, I never, whoever said that I do everything. Um, every, you're back, the backwards crafter. You've got to hold up to your name, right? Yeah, exactly. Live up to your name. I'm glad you remember that, that I'm the backwards crafters. Okay, we're going to put some score tape on that. Um, but yes, if you are um, watching at home, just cut it. Oh, shit. Okay, the, the teacher's pet is explaining you the joke, May. How does it go? Okay, wait a minute. The first husband had money. One for the money. Two was the second Elvis. Elvis. So two for his show. The third marriage was a undertaker. So three to get ready to go. Boot knocking was dirty too. Yes, it was dirty. And Miss Penny was having a dirty dream the other night. But she didn't tell us who she was having a dream with. She's yet to tell us. Let her have some fun, at least in her sleep. <laughs> no, she's got to. She's got to share with us because sharing is caring, and she shares because she cares. Yeah, right. Like Joyce is sharing her plumber. His name was Alexandra. Alexandra, and who was he? Alexander Graham Bell. Because damn, he's old. He's dead. He's he's not but no. Edgar, that's Edgar Allan Poe. Alexander Graham Bell? Yeah, he invented a lot. But, uh, no, that was uh, that's a poem. You're talking about the poet. Yeah. Get it right, Miss Penny. Get it right. I was thinking electricity, but that was Je <laughs> Jefferson, wasn't it? Yeah. Thomas Edson. Edson. Thomas Edison. Tom Edison. Thomas Edison. Miss Penny, I can see why you failed. What grade did you say you failed? Are you sure you only failed uh, first grade? <laughs> Was it first grade you failed? I failed first grade, and they had to social promote me the other grades. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so you got, okay, so now you have your paper scored. Um, you have your corners cut. Everything burnished. Now you're going to cut your piece of um, cardstock or chipboard. Sorry, chipboard that is um, five. Five and one eighth by five and one eighth, and that goes in the inside. Then you're going to cut four pieces of chipboard that are one and a half by five and one eighth, and those go like so, like that. It looks like you're building an exploding box. And I know, right? And then, once you have that, those pieces, then you're going to cut your decorative paper. You're going to need two pieces that are five and one eighth by five and one eighth, two pieces. And then you're going to need four pieces that are one and a half by five and one eighth, four pieces of the decorative paper. 
And then you're going to need um, for the inside of your box, the inside, you're going to need cardstock or decorative, whatever you want to put. Um, that is one and a half by five and one eighth, four pieces. For the outside, you're going to need um, four pieces that are one and three fourth of an inch wide by five and a quarter inch long. Okay. This is going to be the mat for the decorative pieces. Okay. All right. So let's get started. Let's get our wet glue. Look, Miss Penny, I got it right this time. <laughs> But when they uh, promoted you from to grade to grade, wasn't they called social promotion? Did I get that right? No, it was called grade promotion. Huh? It was called a grade promotion. A green? Grade. Oh, grade promotion. So you got a grade promotion? No, I never did. What did you get? I know one time I went to uh, summer school just to be going to school so I'd have something to do during the summer. <laughs> that was fun. Summer school. Summer. I thought it was fun. Most kids that um, don't do they have well. to go to summer. They have to go to summer school to pass. Yeah. Most kids that don't do well during a school year. I don't, think, I don't think they do that anymore, do they? I don't think so. What so, is summer school? About boot knocking. Oh, that's right. Uh, um, he was boot. He was boot knocking with his wife. Oh my God! What is summer Mama school? scratched her back. We already she told he you. scratched her back, and she had a baby. Aristi, we already told you what summer school was. What? It's when you don't do well throughout throughout the school year. You have to go and you get held back, or your grades aren't. Oh. A pass you to the next grade you've got to come in that summer to finish and improve your grade and if you don't then you stay in that grade that you yeah because like in summer school they can spend more time with you and teach you one-on-one -on -one like i think they do that yeah. it's okay that must be the school that teresa went teresa what, why are you why are you being such a butthole to my friend teresa because he's been a butt kisser uh, she's just jealous, May. Is that what it is? Yeah. I'm, I'm not jealous. She's <laughs> a She's a, uh, kiss, kiss, I'm kiss. not jealous. May, may won't be able to sit with all those kisses in the butt from Teresa. I it's like Teresa's kisses. Yeah, because... She's uh, one of them the teacher teachers that brings her special baby wipe. Uh, let me hold on a second. I gotta make sure my son is home, guys, because I know he was supposed to be home. Give me a second. I'll be back just a second, too. Make sure. It's all up to you, Aristi. You better behave. It's keys from Teresa. Oh. I'm gonna start my walking regimen tomorrow. I used to go walking every day. I did several laps. I've gotten out of that habit. I need to do. <laughs> yes, Nikki, I said it. I know I was naughty. I was naughty. But Aristi deserved it. I will report you. The teacher is not allowed to bully the, uh, the students. <laughs> I will report to you. In your country, anything is anything is possible. Remember, you're not in America, so we can bully you. How dare you? <laughs> yes, leave the teachers. But okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. He's home. Good boy. 
came home when he had to be home. Teresa called PETA. Do you know PETA? The organization for that protects the pets, the animals. Is that what you're saying, uh, Teresa is? How Teresa say, Teresa say, yeah, leave the teacher pets alone. Teacher is talking aristy. <laughs> I should call an animal shelter and pick you up, Teresa. How rude, isn't that, uh, isn't that rude, Miss Teresa? She's oh your pet. Somebody needs but, to put You know, teacher loves her pets. <laughs> Somebody put a, um, what do you call it? Hold on, my son. Okay, my son's going to come up here in a minute. Y'all can see my handsome son. All right, so now you have these little flaps. That you have your little, um, what do you call those darn things? I needed to make a box for my trash. That's what I needed to make. Maybe that's what I'll do with this box. <coughs> Remove the flap spore tape and it's gonna go in the inside. You can go, you know, you can put it in the outside like that. I, I would prefer it like that because then you have the added protective on there and I should have done that so her instructions was to put it in the inside I would suggest that instead of putting it in the inside here's what you should do is put it out here like so and then all you have to do you don't then you won't need the hinges right so you can do it either way I've already cut the hinges um, but if you're at home and you want to put the tape on the inside flap like that and then do it like that, it gives it, it protects that more and then it gives you where you're not seeing that crease open right there. To me personally, I like it like that. I would have done it like that, but I was following her instructions. And so you at home, I don't know, maybe they should do I that. guess it's because it makes the, out, the outside smoother when it's not. Because if you put it on the outside, it makes it lumpy. For, yeah, but then, but then you cover it up with your, your deck yeah. paper. Yeah. I, I to me, I like it on the outside, too, because it covers that crack, like you it said. It covers that crack, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, screw it, and we're going to do it. You know, I, Even though I already have tape there, I'm just going to do that. because, And then we won't even need the hinges. You won't need hinges, so screw the hinges, guys. It's, it just... You know, I, I, I kind of ask you whose instruction. Uh, her name is Ala Gaina, Ala Gaina Scraps. Ala Gaina Scraps. She's from Spain. Very smart lady. And it's a, it's a very good concept. But, I mean, you know, me personally, um, I would have bypassed that. Um, I put I put the video I think I put the video link in the description. Cut the edge a bit so it won't be. Well, right now I got that score tape right there, so it's kind of sticky. So I'm not gonna be able to. I gotta. Hold on. Oops. Yep. You can't do that. It won't take long to grab. Yeah. That's what those little tiny clothes pins is good for, isn't it? Those are really good. Yeah, you're right. But I can also just kind of get in here and get some of that tackiness. Yeah, I suggest bypass the score, the, the hinge. Just scratch that off the back, with guys. Let's not do hinge. Any time to save time and do it easier. Yeah. your wet glue out to me i think it just cleans up that corner just a lot better just me saying just me just me thinking it's a good thought
Where's young Sue at tonight? I don't know what she might be with her grandbabies or, you know, her grand grandnieces. Yeah. Oh, I was such an idiot that was not tacked down yet. <laughs> I like it like that. I like it like that. And then that way you have better, cleaner things like that, I think. Yeah. And you could probably use a hinge in the inside if you want. I just like my outside to be clean. I don't care what the inside looks like, but that outside needs to be clean. Well, I mean, it's easy, like when you move it stuff and you hit it on stuff, it'd be better to have the covered corners than the op open corners. Right. They tried to put me in the corner, and Buford say I should go to the corner, and, and Joyce say if we stick if we stick together, we might get Teresa to the corner, and uh, Teresa wants me to go to the corner, and come on, I dare you, ladies, I dare you, I dare you. Yeah. Let's let's see who can put uh, Aristi in the corner. Yeah. And Teresa, Teresa say, Aristi, you're distracting the class. There <laughs> she goes, kiss, kiss the teacher again. <laughs> kiss, kiss. <laughs> yeah, Buford say she won't put me to the corner. He won't join me to the corner because Pe Penny might be, might get mad. That's right. See, you for no stuff. Hanky pa hey, we don't put up no hanky panky oh. around here. There's no hanky. There's definitely no hanky panky up in your neck of the wood. I don't know, but then again, you were boot knocking the other night. <laughs> oh my god! That's because I was trying to take my boots off. Yeah, right. I was tired. <laughs> I was tired. I was kicking my boots off. Uh huh. Uh huh. And they was a banging in it. <laughs> Don't try to change the story up on us. We heard exactly what you said. You said you had a dream. Dream, yeah. You and I didn't remember who it was. <laughs> you were had a dream that you were boot knocking. <laughs> Don't change the story now. That's not how the story went. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I like the um, the flap on the outside. It gives it, it secures the box a lot better, and and you can um, change, you know, if you're gonna have a coordinating. What I would suggest, if you want to take like, since I have this coordinating paper in the inside, I can use the hinge on the inside to coordinate in the inside, but I'm not because I know it really is not really needed. I'm not doing that. So I am going to trim a little bit more here because it looks like I need to trim on just a tad bit more. I didn't do too much trimming. So we're going to miter these a little bit more. I'm going to do a good job. I think it's the lady. It takes that voice away. Joyce is saying, my new windows are coming on Tuesday. Maybe another good look, your ladies. <laughs> so we're going on. We're everybody's going on. That's Tuesday when she needs to go live, doesn't she? <laughs> to Joyce for tea. We will go and visit Joyce on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Now Joyce don't live too far from me. Joyce, she still hasn't told us who the plumber was. <laughs> How are we supposed to trust her? She ain't telling us who that plumber was. I thought she gave you the name. Yeah, she did, but I think she was telling Just her. one. It was his first name, though. She didn't know his yeah, last name. Yeah, she still, we still were never able to find the guy. She was saying where he worked, and Lulu was trying to look it up. <laughs> Joyce fell in love with a plumber. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was, she was head over heels over that guy. <laughs> that she, she had rusty pops. That that guy really made an impression on Miss Joyce. Right, Buford, we're gonna, we're gonna Penny, Buford is saying that 
he can go to the corner with you because you already been boot knocking without him. Oh, I was just dreaming about him. You were dreaming was, about Buford. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was dreaming about Buford. That's uh -huh. it. Uh huh. There we go. Y'all heard it here. Dang on it. I couldn't remember his name, but then whenever y'all said, I know him. Yeah, it was Buford. See, she was boot knocking with you all, oh, Buford. <laughs> <laughs> she was boot knocking with you. All right, now we're going to go and put the flaps in the inside. Uh huh. Y'all heard it here first. <laughs> Y'all heard it? <laughs> hey, you still on the radio? <laughs> Y'all heard it here first. Benny, today's fake news. Uh, fake news. <laughs> fake news. <laughs> <laughs> no, she did not. You this, is not Fox, this is not Fox News. This is May's News. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming to you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> From what is it, Burfall? Uh, how do you say your the name of it? Where you're from? Who? I'm you. From Bron, Bron, Bron. What is it? I'm from Puerto Rico. No, I'm talking about where you're at now. Oh, New Braunfels. <laughs> New Braunfels, Texas. We're coming to you live. I was about to say, Miss Penny, you've known me for uh, how many years now? You don't remember I'm from Puerto Rico. I'm going to smack you. Well, I knew that. I was talking about where you are now. Brit Buford, you heard it here in May's News. Miss Penny was boot knocking with you the other night. Yes, yeah, she's your boyfriend. It's normal. <laughs> I don't you know. have a boyfriend, you have him for, for <laughs> that. You have, have him to go to church. Oh, Risky, you're not hearing the whole details here. She went behind your back, bypassed the Tim Holt. Oh, God, I just blew that down. <laughs> she bypassed Let the Let the kids have some fun. Aristi, are you going to go and miss out on some money on some Tim Holt products? She doesn't have a coupon. She gets not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why Benny imagine she said all, you all that all you, she's at that all you can eat buffet. <laughs> here's that, here's that, what? I said Aristi don't want to go to the corner and when she has the all you can eat buffet. <laughs> Who's offering an all you can eat buffet? Are you offering an all you can eat? No, Aristi has them where she's at. Oh, that's right. No. <laughs> May, do you know why why Penny dreamt being boot knocking? Why? What? Because why? With him blue eye Santa Claus, and you know Santa Claus wear boots. <laughs> so he oh, okay. hey, and he brings presents. And he brings presents too. And what kind of presents did he bring you? Shall mm. we? Know? What kind he of said he, he said he's still working on it. <laughs> Must be big. <laughs> you like them big? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I didn't mean it that way, y'all. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Big and spanky. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like Miss Penny. <laughs> big spanky. Well, we pretty big guy, so he's bringing me a paddle. A paddle? What's he? What's he? What's he? He's spanky. Spank? It's like a spanking. Oh, you you spank? Oh, she likes to play. She likes to play rough. Miss <laughs> Penny will be. Buford's reindeer. <laughs> oh Lord, I don't want to be rude off though. Why not? Because <laughs> he he's he's, a, the, most he's the first in line, and when he gets all of the muck and the stuff, he hits him first. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's the most famous reindeer of all. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So I kind of trimmed off any little. Staggering pieces from the. That looks good. <clears throat> As I'm working here, and these ladies are goofing off, 
and flirting with Buford. See what you do to these women, Buford? You see what you do to these women? Get them all hot together. Don't say these women. It's only hey, you ask Buford if he has more fun on this channel than he does in lawnmower shows. Buford, do you have more fun on this channel than you do on the lawnmower shows? Miss Penny wants to know. Yeah, she loves being claimed by all this woman. All right, so then we're going to take mm -hmm. our piece that is one and a half by five and one eighth. And that's going to go, I'm going to go put it right smack, level down, flush to the bottom. Okay. That'll Crafting with the heart say, oh, the poor angel, May. <laughs> hey, May. Huh? Uh, if you put that all the way to the bottom, that little, that little piece, that bottom piece that you're going to put on there might not fit. Oh, wait, wait, we got to put the bottom piece. Like, thank you for reminding me I didn't put the bottom piece. You're going to put, Miss Penny was being, um, um, so you're going to take the five by five and one eighth by five and one eighth and put it on the bottom. And good thing Miss Penny remembered. There well, I'm here. Time to yeah. put that paper. That paper, it just, it'll make it off just a little bit. Yeah. You know. Yeah, because it's going to be a little bit. It's going to give it a little bit of a. Especially pipe. if you have it on both sides. Five and one eighth by five and one eighth. Dead or decorative piece goes in. And I didn't. I didn't even distress it. What did you say it papers from? Prima. Okay. Lavender. I got it at uh, Hobby Lobby. I don't know who sells it because, to be honest. Um, Where's Jane? There's, there's haven't been Miss Janie. I don't know where Miss Janie is. There hasn't been really good paper, good paper collections around. I know. I know. I've not bought any in a long time. I just had to order some from, um, I ordered the Tim Holtz Wallflower. Uh -huh. um, I'm going to go ahead and put this one down before this dries up because I don't want it to dry up. That's a waste of glue. I'm going to go buy glue today. Uh -huh. um, because the other day, I don't know what I was thinking. I told her, I got to buy glue. Uh, if you they had the 50% and an additional 20% coupon, and so I I don't know why I was not thinking. I said, I gotta go buy glue, and then I thought, no, I'll just order it from Amazon, not thinking that it was a one day coupon. Yeah, well, I got so tied up, I didn't order it from Amazon, and when I went into Amazon, I'm like the hell would I have said Amazon? I never buy my glue on Amazon. Uh -huh. The coupon had expired. I was like, oh, darn it. So today was... There'll be another one coming out. I think I got one today. What? No, they didn't have one today. They had an extra... From Joann's? No, extra 20. That was it. That's what I thought. Okay, just extra 20. Yeah. Extra 20, and I had to use, actually, Hobby Lobby's coupon um, to make it work because I... Oh. Uh-uh. All right. Do they honor it? Oh yeah. They, okay. They wouldn't take the extra twenty though. Oh. Uh, they wouldn't do that. Let you do both. No, they wouldn't. They just let me do the um uh, the Hobby Lobby forty percent. Yeah. And I ended up getting this small bottle instead. I was like, uh uh, we're not going for the big one today. Gloria is saying that Michael's had twenty percent this weekend. Yeah, but I need I need I, I always buy my I don't know if they let you use both either. Yeah, I always use I always buy my Fabri Tac when either they have the fifty or the sixty. I prefer the sixty to be honest, because that Fabri Tac is this big bottle is fourteen ninety nine. Yeah, and so I like to use that sixty percent so that I can get a bang for my buck. I was going to tell you if you talk to uh, uh, uh huh uh huh oh my god yeah. Angela, if you talk to Angela, tell her that she can get that brush. In the whole kit. 
for eight dollars on HSN right now. What brush? The the brush for the dyes. Oh, you can get the Sizzix one. I have the Sizzix. Yeah, the Sizzix. It's the whole kit. You can but get it for eight dollars, and and you get on Easy Pay. It's two dollars a month. Well, I got it from well, I got it from Amazon for six something. Um, the whole thing. Was it just the brush or the, the brush and the mat? Oh, this is a uh, a brush and a mat and a something that I don't know. I have to look, but it it was two for it was three or four things that you get. <laughs> Yeah, I got it at Amazon for like six something. Oh, okay. Well, there's this eight. And then you can get it really fast. Yeah. All right. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to distress the house. I'll get my HSN fast because I live here at the warehouse in Piney Flats. Oh, really? Yeah. See, I like my I like my Amazon because I like to get my Am I just got, look, I just got the... Graphic 45, I ordered another one, but I got it from Amazon for 18 something. Wow. I love it, Lily. Because um, I asked what's her name. She didn't have any more, so she had to lose paper. Um, Nikki was uh, a nice crafter. Not I have Cooper's little guitar that I want to alter. Come here, my son. Maybe my son's here. He's the one that gave me the heart. Did he bring us any free food tonight? No, no free food. My son's here, the one that gave me the heart, guys. Well, I only have one, so I... <laughs> That was very sweet of you, my son. Gloria is saying you can use military discounts and joins together. So, I use no, my, my two coupons at least. My, 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 um, my Joanne's, they won't let you, they, they override because they say that, um, like Not with you know, any other offer. Yeah. The other offers more than, than the 10% that they give you for military. Yeah. Our, our Joanne's the manager. Oh, you can't go when that manager's on the front. Oh, forget that. She will not let you. She will not let. She acts like it's coming out her pocket. Yes, and you know what? She would tell people like when I I worked there once. She would tell people tell the the employees don't mention coupons. Don't hi, mention Sherry. Hi, hi, Sherry. How are you? Yeah, she would say don't mention the coupons to them. That's sad. And I'm like. Because when I first started, I said, "Do you have a coupon today?" And they're like, "Don't mention coupons." Well, I mean, you get more you get more business if you have, give coupons, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Because usually they go buy two or three things. They don't just go in for one. Yeah. Hey, Jerry, how are you? What do you have going on? What new What new little girls do you have going on? You know, you guys know that Sherry's an artist, right? Is that the artist that you get that stuff, those digital from? Yeah, she has oh, a okay. yeah, yeah, little sure. girls. Yeah. She says she's doing good. She's got little digital girls. She's got shipboard too, guys. I don't know if you guys, and she's got paper pads. She does have paper pads. I forgot she had paper pads. Ask her what the newest paper is. New Phoenix Ray Besties. She's got paper pads too. You got the six by six, right? Cherry, I forget she has those. Those are easier to ship. Those are easier to cut too when you have a, like a small little project like this one. Yeah. You don't want New Phoenix Ray Besties, named after my grandbaby. Oh, that's right, because your, your grandbaby is Phoenix, right? I gotta clean up the lid all this. Gloria is saying she will be messed up with me because I print or let people in the line about coupons. And Sari saying six by six, they'll download paper. Yeah, I got. She, she doesn't, they don't like, they don't, and even, even Hobby Lobby, oh my God, I work at Hobby Lobby too. Hobby Lobby really doesn't like you to mention the coupons. My store's around here are pretty good. Yeah. Why? They don't let what? the employees, you guys. I know, I hate it when they act like it's coming out of their pocket. 
they say don't mention it because they don't want you to take it yeah. from the mail. But they just want to be smart. Something like that they, you can do. They want to use their authority. Yeah. Isn't that your right? Isn't that something that the company is offering to you? That's what I said. I'm like, then why? Yeah. Offer it? That's what I'm why offer it's not it? coming off of them. The company's the So if the, if the if the if the if the from the headquarters of the company, you have that right, and they provide you that. How can a small local manager refuse that? Exactly. They don't want. They. They. I don't know. The, the, um, she. She just wants to be mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What it is is because she wants to. When they do their bank uh, register, it makes them look like they have more sales if they've got a higher amount. Right. And see, when they give a discount, it you know it lowers their deposit. Okay, guys. But, Take your um, one cardstock that is one and three quarters by five and one quarter and take your decorative paper that is one and a half by one and five eight and you're going to mat it on top. That's pretty. I've not seen you work with these colors. I know because I couldn't find anything prettier um, to work with and I didn't want to use that, that graph. I think it's pretty though. That graphic 45, I didn't want to use it for this. I was like, no, I don't want to use it because if I screw up the paper, I don't want to screw that expensive paper pad. Yeah. You're just going to hoard it. No, I want to use that for um, a journal I want to make. Oh, okay. Did you use all that uh, one pad, that blue pretty pad? I actually did. Wow. I used all of that, that pad. Because it didn't have a whole lot in it. Yeah, yeah. They're that often teak don't have yeah. much. Uh, six sheets. Yeah, and I've I've done that big mistake where you know um you buy something and you think you're gonna have enough. And I should have got you two. Well, no, and you know what? That's why I stopped buying like the Stamperia. I love the Stamperia. What I don't like is only ten sheets, and so you are limited. You know, if you screw up. And they put it pretty on both sides. I hate that. Now, oh, I the ugly that. one. If they put it ugly on one side, I don't mind. Yeah. And they do that both sides. It's just, just beautiful. It makes it hard for you to decide which one you're Yes, doing. it makes you confused, don't it? Yeah. And so I've had to, I got a couple pads from Stamperia. I have not cut into them. And that's why. Because. I just don't want to cut into a paper pad that if I screw up, no, I don't want to cut into what it. What it is, you know, it's a marketing strategy. They want you to buy two pads. Yeah, and they're expensive pads. But too. you know something, when you say they put both sides pretty, it's like you are asking to be, to, to add ugly pages in it. Well, no, because what they do, paper pads, they, they can put, they can put. Uh, they could put a plain color in the back. And not put two decorative colors. I'll show you here. Um, I don't know if you've seen papers where they put the front and the back are really pretty. Instead of putting a flat color in one side and then a decorative, you know. But they oh, may at, le the, at least a stripe or something. <laughs> yeah. May the paper line you were talking in Angela's channel is the paper company is called Ciao Bella, and it means uh, hello beautiful. Yeah, ciao, ciao, yeah. Bella, yeah. Ciao, ciao Bella, bella. Ciao Bella, ciao Bella, and it's ciao Italian. Bella. Yeah, yeah ciao it, bella. It's, it's the line that the guys in the street, when you go to Italy and you see hot guys picking girls on the street, they will say, ciao Bella, it's the guys that uh, pick up line. Ciao Hello. Bella. I have some ciao Bella paper. Stamperia and ciao Bella are both Italian. Ciao yeah, bella. From Italy, yeah. Bella, Bella is like uh, it's expensive though. Yeah, it's only I think that's only ten sheets too. Yeah. Forget that. I'm I'm sorry. I gotta stretch that money wherever I can stretch it. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna use where. Ciao, Bella has uh, amazing, very talented uh, design team designers. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You know who was another yeah. one that's really pretty paper line? Peon Design. Oh, they got yeah. Yeah. 
expensive. I mean, All of those it's, little... It's uh, also uh, European. Beyond, beyond Designs are also European and they are super expensive. Yeah, yeah, they're Swedish. I used to carry them in the store and I had to order it from Sweden. And it cost me a lot of money when I had creative with details. It cost me a lot of money to have it shipped to me. It took a while to get to me. But it was a dollar a dollar something a sheet wholesale and by the time i sold it i had to sell it to at least i couldn't sell it more than two bucks i had to sell it for at least a dollar 95 and make about 80 cents profit and it really wasn't profit to be honest yeah. it was not a choice is saying besame mucho he wants kiss 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 there's another paper line over there close to that too in oh, either yes. sweden uh, or yeah um wait a minute i know which one you're talking about they're almost competitive with um with, a b no not a b a b not a b studio um no it an m it starts with an m um it won't let you hold on sherry let me add you as a mod hold on i thought i had you as a mod sherry oh i don't have you as a mod go ahead sherry put it in now Put it in there now. Um, but yeah, um, I, I, I like, I like it for something like this. Like this is a, this is this is perfect for a six by six paper pad. I could have easily used a six by six paper pad to do this, but I didn't have a six by six paper pad. I had to cut a twelve by twelve. I will tell you, I when I make construction like that, I like to use my hunky dory. Adorable, scorable. What is that? It's, it's really thick. It's like 120, uh, 120 pounds. I never uh, heard of Hunky Dory. You've never heard of Hunky Dory? Uh uh. Oh, you heard of Kanban? Who? Kanban. Never heard of it. Wow. Hunky Dory's. Paper, it's got, it's got like it's called bendy ink, a coating on it. It's called bendy ink, and you can score it and you can fold it. It will not crease, it will not feather, it will not crack. Never heard of it. You'll have to look that up then. Hunky that, Dory. I'm trying to think of that one with an M that's also from like Sweden or something. I know, I can't. Uh, uh, it's on, oh my God. It's on the tip of my mouth. Mayan, no. Mayan, not peon. There's peon. It's Sweden. Yeah, it's Swedish, I believe. It's beautiful. Now, peon is a little bit lightweight. Their, their paper is lightweight. Because I had a lot of them. And um, the only thing with them is that they do a 12 by 12 sheet that's cut. And they put rectangles of 6 by 6. Which I didn't like that. That company that you're trying to think of is known for the rice paper, too. Yeah, I can't remember what they're I can't think of it. Oh, my God. It's going to kick me. I'm, I'm going I'm to kick myself because I can't find it. Is there a little out there? Um... Miss Gloria, you're a paper crafter. Miss Teresa, y'all paper crafter. Y'all don't, don't remember that one? It started with an M. Did you put the link in? Um, it's almost like competitive with Stamperia. Yeah, I can't think of what it is. It's from Sweden. Are you sure it's Sweden? It's either Sweden or Italian or, or from Greece or somewhere. Well, it's just some kind of company. It's Dutch or something. One of those, one of those. European. Yeah, it's a European country. Look on the scrapbook.com and look at their paper names. I don't think Scrapbook carries it. Oh, okay. Because it's imported. Not too many people. Yeah. Well, I know uh, uh, Stacy's going to be carrying it at uh, Scrapbooking Made Simple. I don't care. I don't know. It takes too long. Yeah. You get good deals, but it takes you a year to get it. Yeah, I don't, I, her attitude, mm -mm. 
can't handle her. And I, and I, I got to you know, me. laugh. <laughs> I can't, mm -mm, nope, can't handle that. Nope. No can do. No can do. I sense fakeness. You can do. Ah, oh, what is that called? Not mine's mine because that's American. What is it? Anyway, it really, I mean, I would have, I was hoping Prima came out with a better paper line, like really, but mm -mm, they got all that foil stuff going on with their papers. It's, it's driving me crazy. I love Authentique, but they've been coming out with some ugly papers too lately. And I don't like that fruit collection from Graphic 45. Everybody's oh. going crazy about it. I don't like it. I don't either. I don't like it either. I don't know what anybody... Ran. They had all the four new collections on... Uh, Teresa is asking, is it Kaiser or Couture? No, I don't like Kaiser Craft paper. It's too thin. That's not worth it. Way too thin. Too expensive and too thin. It's... Uh, I'm going to kick myself and I'll remember it. Kaiser Craft is Australian. Yeah. It's not uh, Kaiser In Australia, it's cheap. It's not expensive. Couture Creations, that's Australian. Yeah, that's pretty. Couture Creations pretty. Again, but that's another paper line that doesn't bring a whole lot of paper in the paper pack. I didn't know if they did paper. Yeah, they did. Do you think? Mm -hmm. I've never had any of that. I've had, I've got their dyes. She bought a lot from Create and Craft. Yeah. Teresa. All right. There you I go. was on Create and Craft. I can't believe it. I was the first caller. They called me. When you, you send in your email, uh -huh. and then they called me back. She's never gonna. She's never gonna. Go to I mean, it's an honor to for me. I thought it was an honor. Green crafts paper is pretty. I'm trying to think of that paper. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, you're gonna have to look up Hunky Dory though, cause it's really nice. It's really heavy. I sent you some. I think in that. Uh, no, because you sent me authentique. No, I sent you some. It's the full, the the full color the the uh what do you call it? Not f the foil ca cardstock. I sent you the small size, not the large size, but that smaller size. That is the adorable squirrel. Oh, okay. I have to look it up. Come on, do you know what I'm talking about, though? The shiny, the shiny paper. I sent you. Yeah, the one, the, the, the colors, the colors, the metallic one, the metallic paper. Yeah, yeah. Is that? Let me look. Hold yeah, Benny. I spoke it's, to it's Martin, it's like, Ben, Andy, Lo, like Loen, Dan, and Nigel. They loved my accent too. Yeah, I got to talk to. Um, Hunky Dory. What is it called? It's called Hunky Dory. Hold on. Adorable, scorable. Okay, Nikki's asking something, and I have the same question about it. What? Can anyone can anyone find a link to any hack snag ribbon? I can find a link to buy any the any here, pretty please. So I have a question about it. When uh, I and Joyce and I a couple of years ago were searching, I find the link to. You know, to that uh, seam binding had snug ribbon, the seam binding ribbon. I found the I found the link to the company, and I saw all the colors there, and we got it from there. And now, for some reason, 
we can find the link to the company for the same buy. Why? This hug snub um, went out of business and someone else bought them out. Really? Yeah. So they don't make that ribbon anymore? They make it. It's another company now. And why don't why can we find the, the link? Can you find the link to the that uh I don't know what the name I have to look at um um wholesale providers and see what they're being they should be called hug snug, but I mean it, oh, you can find it with that name. I can find the previous link and I, you can find it as had snug like in the past. No, they normally have it. When I looked online, I couldn't find the factory, the producer that makes that seam binding ribbon. Well, you don't want to look up as hug snug. You want to look it up as seam binding. Okay, um, Miss Penny, th is this what you're talking about? Yeah, the smaller size, sir. The, yeah, blue size. That's the adorable score. We'll see how it's got a heavy weight to it. Oh, yeah. Hello, Laura. Hello, Laura. All right, let me put it back. <laughs> I got a Miss Penny basket. I, I got to keep it all straight as to who gifted to me. <laughs> that big, the bigger one I got from the Dollar Tree, but they don't have it no more. No, because I've never seen it. Yeah, Dollar Tree. but it's pretty cool too. Okay. So we got our box. It looks like this. You can put legs. You can put metals. Probably gonna put some legs. Let me see what I have as far as. Okay, Joyce is bullying me in messenger. If she continue, I will reveal with who she was on the rooftop. <laughs> That's, that's called blackmail. <laughs> you reveal what? Reveal who, who the president was on the rooftop. Oh, my God. I said, that's blackmail. <laughs> you got you the color right. You know, they then. put, the, you put, they put Adonofi, or whatever his name is, in jail for doing the same thing <laughs> today. <laughs> Michael, at, what is it? Michael Adonofi. She is bullying Laura in Messenger because I don't remember her voice. After three years, we had the call. I called her once three years ago and we spoke, and she wants me to remember her accent. And I called her, oh. and she called me old lady. <laughs> she called you an old lady? Yeah, look who's talking. Do you remember Joyce's accent? No, I don't. And she, don't. she expects Did it for me. anything like me? Because she's from Tennessee. She expects for me to remember her accent. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we spoke. Oh. It was three years ago. You haven't spoken since. Yes, Laura. I'm your baby. I'm your baby. A huge baby. I'm like the movies. Honey, I made the kids gigantic. How do you call it? It was a movie. A Who wants to go movie. see that movie? The Invisible Man. I want to go see it, but I'm scared see, see, to. Even, even, even the even the teacher says Teresa saying Joyce. She has been bullying me for three days. <laughs> Joyce is bullying. Well, you really. have to wait till 10 days before you can complain around here. <laughs> so you still have a few days to go. <laughs> and if she skips a day and doesn't harass you, then. The next day she does, then it the, starts all over again. Got to go 10, day, 10 straight days <laughs> before you can file a complaint. All right, Arista. <laughs> She's, Teresa, how dare you, Teresa? Teresa, see, 
that I bully her. Go cry to your teacher. Go complain to the teacher, Teresa. Uh. But I will, I, I, think Teresa, teacher, I will lend until the lesson is over. I when teach your fell in the home. And I will find you before you go home. And I will teach you. <laughs> <laughs> teacher take, take the teacher's taking that four from far away. <laughs> You're just jealous, Miss Teresa. Don't pay her no mind. When the when the when the lesson is over, when the class is over, before she goes to meet, meet me in the hallway after teacher. class. <laughs> With her puss and cookies. Her what and what? Her puss and cookies. <laughs> okay, there you go. You woke up the big inside penny. Snurf. <laughs> Did I hear her right? <laughs> Don't pee your pants, penny. Oh, I already went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe she, she said say, that. Did she say pussy? <laughs> you say that. I've heard that. I've heard it all. What kind of cookies? <laughs> I don't know what been eating tonight, but y'all y'all been eating. <coughs> Y'all been some stuff. I don't know. Oh, what my what God. Kind of stuff. Oh, my Lord. Uh, did you say bosom cookies? No, I thought she said pussin or pussin. <laughs> <laughs> what was it, Aristi? Aristi, what did you say, Aristi? Repeat it, because inquiring minds now all want to know. <laughs> what did you say, Aristi? Listen carefully. <laughs> I say... That when the class is over, I will kick Teresa's ass out of the school before she goes to home. And she says she will kick my ass too with apples and cookies. Wait, wait, wait a minute. May read my comment. Where, where, where? I don't know what it said. Which comment, Miss Teresa? <laughs> and I will roll with apples and cookies. It sounds just like she's saying poos and cookies. <laughs> That's what it sounded like she said. I'm like, what the heck is she saying? Can, can you find it? Did you find it, May? What is what it what did she say? What kind of cookies? I thought she said cookies. cookies. Yeah, but it's in the comments she said. Oh, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back up. Hold on. <laughs> The Dutch. Oh, no, no, wait a minute. The Dutch cookies. The, the Netherlands cookies. Me with my apples and cookies. Wait a minute. Um, um, no, Arisa, you have bullied. Kiss, kiss. No, that's not it. Old lady, you're the one with the babies in here. Who? What? What? Yeah. No, are awful. Hey, hey, Rissy. Hi, Miss Laura. Okay, Penny. I spoke to Martin, Ben, and Andy. Love Leon, Dan, and Nigel. They love my accent too. Oh, she's also talked to. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, awesome. I don't see nothing about. I, I, I heard puss and cookie. I know. Apples, apples, apples. No, but Rissy, <laughs> you sounded like you were saying puss and cookies. That's in your person. A puss. <laughs> Poof. <laughs> Poof. Say it, Aristi. Say it again, because I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Say it again, Aristi. Say it again, Aristi. <laughs> Aristi. Joyce greets. <laughs> no, what kind of cookies? Apples are good. <laughs> no, don't try to change it now, because that's not what you said. You know what we say here? 
What did you say he, there? Person dreams what he's hungry for. So you're hungry for that, I guess. Jeez. No, we're not hungry for that. We're repeating what you said. Apples. Apples. Apples and cookies. <laughs> <laughs> right? It, didn't it puss in boots? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Right guys, I'm not I'm not I'm not making this up. That's what it sounded like she said. It is. You for the same pain is over there snorting a clip <laughs> I can't help it. That was something to snort about a poof. <laughs> oh, I will kick your if, ass, Teresa. Wait a this is over. If I can rewind this video while we were still live, I will rewind it to when she said that because I could have sworn that's what she said. <laughs> I could have sworn that's exactly what she said. I'm like, what? <laughs> and I wasn't even looking at the chat then, so that's what Now Laura is hungry for chocolate. I guess you're hungry for something else. <laughs> and uh, chocolate is the way to replace it. <laughs> that one would have been good, but I don't Wait, like it. You say apples, 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 apples. You Not put a little more accent into it, I think. You were a pool, a poos. <laughs> All right, we're going to go with this here. A poos. <laughs> These are just nettles that will eventually be in the store. They're not all in the store. I don't think they're all in the store. Hey, okay. guess what I found uh, yesterday when I was out there looking for that stuff? What did you find? It was one of those little metals that you had put white paint your sheepskin on and, and blue uh, uh Oh, yeah, that I had on. Yeah, it was covered. Yeah, it was pretty. It was like on a lock. Like, well, like that key. It was like one of those uh, key uh, frames. And don't forget you. I boost tonight. <laughs> Yeah, we know what we, we know what Arissi's been thinking about. She even wrote that. <laughs> it was by mistake. No, it wasn't by mistake. It was on your mind. It was on your excuse and X are next to each other in the They keyboard. say what what you think comes out your mouth. Yeah. It was Look on your story. mind. It was on your mind. <laughs> That's pretty. You gonna leave it that color? Pure Buford is like, what the heck is going on here? What did you I have do? an apples? And apples. I say apples. that she loves it, and apples. Laura say apples. she likes being the only man in the room, full of crazy woman. And Buford say, oh, I have been here just listening the penny, <laughs> oh, no. and made me die laughing. He's gonna divorce me now. <laughs> I, say, I still can't stop laughing apples. I will never be able to look at them now. <laughs> <laughs> now who likes before they get it all out? They're never gonna look at apples like that again. They're gonna go to the market and they're gonna see apples and they're gonna be like, yep. Aristi. <laughs> you, you remember me when you eat apple? Apples and cookies. Apples and see, see, she said it again. Did you hear it? <laughs> Did you hear it? Apples and puss. <laughs> cookies, cookies. Oh, oh my! <sighs> I will get a heart attack. <laughs> heart attack. Oh Lord. Y'all heard it, right? I, I'm not making that up. That was clear as day. You for is said, I just swore of apples. Y'all heard it. I'm not making it up. <laughs> Teresa is saying, no more apples for the teacher, only cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. I don't like Not it. even an apple pie. No. I, don't, I don't like those kind of apples. <laughs> I don't like those kind of apples. I like Granny Smith.
Benny, are you are you vaping? Uh, not right now. In the live stream, like we were talking, are you vaping? No. See, <laughs> I have a vape, but I'm not doing it right now. I did while ago. Did y'all hear it? Today in the stream. Oh no! This is the first time I've been on. I've been sick, you guys. I've been sick, sick, sick. She didn't. She didn't do it today. Y'all hear my dogs? Yeah, I thought you was moving a drawer. No. <laughs> Laura is saying, I don't think apples and cookies are sold by the Girl Scouts. <laughs> Girl Scout cookies are so expensive now, you can't afford them. How much are they now? I haven't bought a Girl Scout cookies. I haven't either because they got outrageous. Is it $10 a box? What? Last, what time I bought, last time I bought some, it was six, so I'm sure it's, it's more than well, six. How many in a box? Not many. Their boxes are small, aren't they? <laughs> They've gone smaller in, in, in size. And up on price. And up on price. Those mint cookies, those chocolate mints, oh my gosh, those are good, aren't they? I like the Samora ones. Do you? Mm -hmm. I like their those chocolate mint cookies. I don't think we haven't bought it since, God, about a year. It's been longer than that for me. There are hardly any in the box. It's all packing. Yeah, air. Anything, air. everything is air here. You open up, three quarters of it is air. Open up a bag of tiger chips and it's like a quarter of the bag. <laughs> there is a reason why it's the air in the back of, uh, of for, uh, yeah, pack of like, uh, chips. So they won't, the chips won't break. Yeah, and the shipping, yeah. Yeah, but that's a ripoff. Teresa is saying, Aristi, tell them how many apple flavors come in a box. <laughs> it's apple. Aristi. <laughs> you hear it when you were to say apples. Aristi, I'll never look at another apple again. <laughs> the box only has It's not eggs. the apple. It's not the one. It's when it's many. It's apples. Apples, apples, apples. <laughs> Did you hear me, mate? Huh? I said the box only has five eights. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful to say, I think I'm going to have some strawberries. <laughs> apples, and he wants strawberries. What apples has to do with strawberries? What did I miss? <laughs> what am I not getting? Fruit to fruit. The fruit. He doesn't want. He doesn't want apples. Does anybody like cottage cheese and pears? I mean, cottage cheese and uh, peaches. Yes. Joyce saying, Buford, let's stop, stomp some grapes. What stomps stomp grapes? <laughs> what stomps means? Stomp with your feet. Smash oh. grapes with your feet. Mm. Stomp, stomp okay. the grapes. Okay. And when you say, like, I'm going to kick your butt. Those, my mom always said, I'm going to stomp you. <laughs> Somebody give Laura some chocolate. She's crying. Who wants it? She wants You're, chocolate. Hold on, Laura. Don't, I'm gonna you are not allowed. Here, Laura. She's diabetic. She's not allowed to eat chocolate. Here, I'm going to have one. Oh, my gosh. That's who got you the heart. My son. Oh, okay. That's awesome. I want to have one for you, Laura. Is it the mixed? I don't know. I'm about to open it up. Laura is asking, you want some cheese with that wine, Joyce? I guess that's perfect. Okay. Look. Mm. Those, yeah. Oh, I like that dark chocolate there. 
May you're nasty. Laura is crying for chocolate and you're so in chocolate. <laughs> She's sharing. What are you doing? That teacher is evil. She's evil. That teacher doesn't respect her students. When have you seen a teacher give her students candy? You can't do that. It's against, it's against school policy here in the United States. <laughs> a rule to you're rule. nasty. <laughs> She'll get fired. Yeah. Teachers can't give out. They can't give out their, um, they can't give students any candy. They have to give crayons and pencils and erasers in the Valentine. Yeah. Laura is saying that you are cruel. Yep. Don't be cruel. I'm sorry. Don't be cruel. Don't be Laura, would you like some? And Teresa <laughs> said that we can give apples and cookies. I can't well, find my accommodate you, Laura, because you know I like I believe I strongly believe in sharing is caring. I got some little heart uh, candies here in the little bag. It says to and from. The so didn't get you anything. No. I she don't. I hadn't even talked to her today. She excited about her wedding. Yeah. After she picked it out and paid for it all the way home, she was thinking that I should make it. Maybe we can chocolate too. What's that? No, she's I'm eating chocolate. Hard rocks. I mean, uh, hard rocks. I'm eating hard can uh, candy hearts. She likes them hard. <laughs> Miss 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 Penny, like sweet tarts. Hey, hey, Buford, take notes. Whenever you go visit Miss Penny, you better bring her some candy. She likes lollipops. Oh yes. Oh my goodness, I'm out. Oh yes, Buford, bring your lollipops to pay me. <laughs> May May when she sees me with lollipops, it makes her, and then she'll go buy her a lollipop. <laughs> you want? She likes walk. To, you, Buford, she likes to suck on lollipops. <laughs> Keeps you from smoking. <laughs> She's not Okay, good. see, Buford is blushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to put these little legs out here. <laughs> If you only knew what that sounded like. <laughs> Hi, Sandra. Hi, Sandra. You totally forgot I was coming on. Hi, Sandra. Hey, Sandra, what did you want to know about um, Jesso? Hopefully, I can answer your question. I'm not a mixed media person, but I can hopefully maybe answer your question. Hey, I'm going to have to go out for a minute. Uh, I'll text you when I need to come back in. You're going to, okay. little, you're going to a little girl. What's your eating thing? I'm eating that hard, uh, heart, uh, sweet tart or whatever you call them. I'll be back in just a minute. Okay. Laura, you're diabetic. You must not eat chocolate. What don't you get? She's still going to try, even if she can't have it. So when this just seems to go out there. Sandra says, so when I use a stencil, the gesso seems to go under. Oh, you probably got too much on your brush. 
you want to always clean out, um, not put too much on your brush. And the gesso must be, must not be thin, it must be thin. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't want to load up your brush, have like a towel or something and kind of um, dab it and remove some of the extras that you have on your paintbrush. And you don't want it too runny. Yep. Yeah, if the gesso is like... She was using a palette knife. Okay. So your, is your gesso so thick, Sandra, that you can use it with a palette knife? Then you might want to uh, tape in, use like some of that painter's tape and paint, tape up your stencil on your surface. Um, and make sure it, um, that it's flat on the surface if you're using your palette knife and angle your, your palette knife so that when you're going on an angle and you're kind of going on the surface, angle it. Don't go like that because if you go like that and then you're going to get, you're going to get it all underneath. Angle it and then kind of scrape it off. It also has to do with the stencil. With some stencil, you can avoid it. Yeah, some stencils are, are yeah, thin. Some stencils are really thin, and it's, it's kind of hard to avoid it. It has to do with how much detail they have on the design. Yeah. Also, you just don't want to put too much stuff on your on your palette knife. Put little. Little goes a little bit the wrong way. So it has a point. Maybe you want it to uh, texture. Yeah, some people don't care about that kind of stuff if they're putting gesso because they're putting gesso because they're adding texture. All right, so we got these legs gluing up on here. And we got that one piece over here. And I try to use um, Fabri-Tac versus E6000. I just find that it works a lot better than E6000. Um, it dries up faster. So we got that one going. And then now let's work on, let's work on one of the files and then we'll do one file. How, how long will it take to have them stick there? How long, how long will, geez. How long before they dry up? Wait for them to dry. Um, you know what? With E6000, I've noticed it takes like um, um, overnight. It takes. Wow, so long? With E6000, not this. This one, you can with come back. Up. With this one, at the most I've had to wait was about two hours, three max. It doesn't really. Why don't you use instant glue? I use instant glue. You know that glue that comes in small tubes and it's for metals when you call glue metal with metal and it dries instantly. Um, you're, I don't know. We don't have an instant glue. There was an instant one that I had here. It was a fast gluing. It was called quick grip and that one still took forever and fumes my concern was well, fumes. i i i got i get a glue that i glue my metal parts it's called instant glue it's so fast that it can glue your fingers on the project uh, that, that's well, that's what we call it. crazy glue that's what and, we call crazy glue i don't like using crazy glue and that glue is for heavy duty work like gluing two metals together and you get it in, even in the grocery stores and it's not expensive but it comes in really small tubes really tiny tiny tubes but it's really 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 fast for metals i mean you can imagine how many times i have glued my fingers on yeah, the thermals you're talking when, about when, when they say that you will get a piece of grease when you get a journal, you will get a piece of my DNA because most of the times I glue the metals and my fingers on the book. <laughs> there yeah. you go. If you buy if you buy one of her journals, you're gonna have her DNA. Yeah. Okay, guys. All right. So now let me clean my bone folders because I see my DNA on my bone folder. Um, and it kind of grosses me out. 
Oh, look what Laura is saying. Crazy glue is for crazy people. Yeah, because that's because she she that's why she uses it because she's crazy. Didn't you know that, Laura? She cray cray. And Buford say that's my kind of glue, crazy glue. You like crazy glue? Buford. I forgot to check up on Miss Penny. She's probably trying to knock on the door. Laura is saying for fifty-five dollars you can clone a Risty. <laughs> Hey, hey, uh, we forgot to tell Laura that Miss Penny was moving in on her man. Yeah. No, Laura. Laura is... Uh, but, yeah, uh, Laura, you missed that. When Buford say, came, Penny say, hello, boyfriend. She's her boyfriend. Where is Janie? Yeah. Laura, I think you've lost... I think you lost Buford. Um, Miss Sandra, we're making, um, we're making, the next thing we're going to do are the little file. This was an inspiration by, um, man, I, I got to pronounce her name. Alagani, Alagan, Alagaina, Alagaina Scrap. She's from Spain. Um, so I was inspired by her. I'll put the links below on the description here. So here's the box. Um, to put the little file. So now what we're going to do with a piece of cardstock, craft cardstock, whatever you want to use. Laura, I say, oh, Jane is going to kick some pennies. Yep, yep. She's moving in on your man. She's moving in on your man, Miss, um, Miss, um, I gotta cut. She's moving in. She's moving in. All right. So you're gonna take a piece of um, cardstock or craft cardstock that's 11 and a half by 12. 11 and a half by 12. Okay. You need to get three of them. Because um, you're gonna make three to fit in there. Does it have hinges? No, not this one. No hinges. No hinges what? fun today. No hinges today, guys. No hinges. Okay. Shocker, right? No nightmares today. No nightmares. <laughs> All right. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to score at five inches at the 11 and a half inch side. This is the 11 and a half inch side. You're going to score at five inch. And at six and a half inch. Okay, that's the 11 and a half inch side, okay? Now I'm going to turn my paper at the 12 inch side. I'm scoring at five inch. And then at 10 inch. And I have to go in a couple times because my paper is kind of thick. Okay, so at the 11 and a half inch, 5 inch, 6 and a half inch, turn it to the 12 inch, score it at 5 and score it at 10. You need three of these. Three, tres, okay? I said it in Spanish, I said it in English. All right, then you're going to cut for his girlfriend, Penny. Yeah, now it's a tutorial. Yes, now it's a tutorial. Yes, Miss Sandra. Okay, so then you're going to go in with the 12-inch um, side. You're looking at the 12-inch. So this is 12-inch here. Right here, this is the 12-inch side. I don't want to write up long. Well, I guess I could... Um, that's a 12 inch side. Okay. You're going to cut up here, up to that score line. And then you're going to cut over here, up to that score line. Okay. 
and then you're going to turn it and you're going to cut it up to that score line again. You guys speak Spanish, you guys can follow her tutorial on this. The only difference is that I added chipboard for sturdiness of it because I just thought that this chipboard made it a lot more sturdy. Okay. That was just my personal preference. Okay. Now on these little flaps here, you're going to um, fold them all to one end because we need to stick these through the paper cutter because we need to cut two inches off or one inch off. I'm going to cut one inch off this side here. So you're going to push all the flaps over like so, right? And then you're going to bring it up to your paper trimmer. And you're going to cut off an inch. Make sure I've got that right. Nope. And then you're going to flip it to the other side, flip everything over. On the opposite side of that one we just cut, and you're going on the one. And I'm going to show you how. You're going to cut it again at one inch off. So you're cutting off an inch off the one that has the smaller bottom piece to it. And when you're going in to cut, move your flaps over. That way you can push it up against the cutter. And you can cut off that one inch on each side. Okay. Now, then you're going to grab your paper scoreboard. And you're going to score that. Bring it up, and you're going to score it at two inches. Bye-bye, Buford. Good night, Buford, and then turn it around, and then you're going to score it at two inches. Okay. So you have it like that. And I'm going to... Bring it over here because I've already, I had this one here that I was working on. Oh, is your mom okay, Aristi? All right, hopefully her mom's okay. Okay. Are you okay, Aristi? Okay. Her mom hasn't been feeling well, guys. All right. So here's what it looks like. So um, this is this is it right here. Okay. What I did is I took a piece of um, a template, um, piece of cardstock, and I cut it at four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay, um, because we're going to use that as our template to cut out and miter that one corner. 
which is this corner right here, right here. This folds, this folds in. This is the corner that we have to miter. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your ruler and right where that score line is, you might come see. You see that score right here? Okay. You're going to flush your ruler up to that, right up to that edge, and you're going to mark it at two inch. Okay. Then you're going to go to the bottom over here on this one, that big one, and you're going to go from the bottom up and you're going to score or might make a mark, not score, make a mark at two inch. So again, from the score line here, mark two inch from the bottom edge, mark two inch. And then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side from the score line, line up your ruler, make a little mark. And then from the bottom edge, you can turn it over to make it easy. I'm hoping she's okay. Make another two inch mark. Then you can take your paper trimmer again. Okay. And you can line it up from point to point on your paper trimmer. From point to point on your paper trimmer. There's the point and there's a point. And then just trim it. And you have that, okay? Do the same thing on the opposite side. So you, gotta, you have to have space. One of these days I'm going to win the lottery and I'm going to get the biggest craft room ever. And then I'm going to have a mess everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna go like that. And turn that off. So as you guys can see, I'm going to bring it up closer. As you can see, there is the little pencil mark. My hands are kind of grody because I got glue all over it. There is a pencil mark and there is a pencil mark. I just mitered it, okay? That's what you're left with. Then, if you want to make it easier on you, go ahead and mark so you know where you're going to glue. Um, here, this is the base of, of your... Um, file thingy. That's the base. Okay. So that's the base. And you can write it on there. Base. You're going to glue here. Glue here. Glue here. And glue here. And you can write it so you're not confused at all. Then what I did is I flipped it. And then I went ahead and I notated what I'm going to be doing. So I flip it over. That way I'm not going to screw something up. Glue here. This is paper or decorative paper. And here's the base again. Um, glue and paper. And then this is paper again. And this is paper, okay? P for paper. All right? This one here, I'm going to erase it because I don't want it. Hold on a second, guys, because... Okay. Yeah, I know, guys. That may, that's a poor man's dream. Yeah, that's a poor man's dream. Yes. <laughs> West Coast baby. She's in, she's in um, California, I think. Okay, so that's what you have. And then if you did what I said, if you cut out a piece of cardstock, that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. That should be your mat 
to go like so on like so right that's your mat so that you can cut your decorative paper to fit this and what you're going to do is again you're going to go up here and you're going to go up to two again up here go up to two and then trim that off that will be your indication of where you're cutting um you're going to cut your decorative paper to mat it on here like so okay all right so let's get started all right so let's put glue and this gets um Uh, score tape and to fold it down um, and then I put some cardstock or chipboard sorry guys all for life what All right. All right. So our chipboard base is one and three eighth inch wide by four and seven eighth. That's going to go right like so there. And then you're going to cut another chipboard base that is um, one and three eighth by one and seven eighth. Sorry, no, that's this one. Um, the side is one and three eighth by four and seven eighth. That goes there. That's the side. That's that. That's the base. And then this is what I call the spine, one and three eighth by one and seven eighth, and that's going to lace like so, right there. Okay. All right, so go ahead and glue that down. Where's my glue? Okay, call for life. I hope she's okay, guys. I don't know. Guys, if you're coming in, don't forget to smack that thumb. And guys, please, after the video, leave me a comment because that helps with the algorithm. Um, also, um, to be honest, YouTube don't do anything. I mean, they don't. I, I mean, people can't expect to make money off of YouTube. That's just the fact, reality of YouTube. YouTube, you can't make a living off of that. So I craft for fun, not for anything else. So. Um, I craft you enjoy you ladies. Yes, leave a comment. Comments are very appreciated. Hi, baby girl, did you get your puzzle done? No, not yet. It's still a lot. What do you have, baby girl? What's that note you're giving me? Can I do? You can tomorrow if you want to go. Okay. I got nothing better to do. Okay, just make sure you leave that note next to Daddy's so he knows that we're going to take you down there. Okay. Okay. Want coffee? Grab my cup over there. You don't mind. And here, take this cup because I have too many cups in there. Let me read, guys, because I don't have my distance yet. Okay, so it'll be 2 8 p.m. your time tomorrow, Sandra. I'll message you if you need a reminder. What are we doing, Callie? What, huh? Hey, Miss Joyce, can you check? Can you go over? Can you send a message and check in to see how things are going over there? Hold on, guys. You're charging your phone. Okay, Miss Penny. 
Hold on. Hold on a second. All right, so we're going to burnish that in to get that in really good. And then um, I'm going to put some tape around there. And I guess you could use your um, wet tape. I'm just going to go ahead and use my score tape if I can find it, which is right in front of me. Won't be able to play, Laura. I'll be out a softball game. Rose is, Rose is playing, too. We're playing a macrame, macro, I can't even say that, macro, macrame mixed media game tomorrow on a French channel. Oh, okay. Cool. All right, so we're going to put on both sides. Guys, I got the best kids in the world, don't I? That coffee brought up to me. Kind of like a spooky, marvelous, kind of scary subject content like Halloween or horror. I can't say H is horror. horror. You guys, in Puerto Rico or Spanish countries, any Spanish country, the H is always sound, silent. So I have a hard time with the H. H, R's, uh, uh, W's. I can't. I can't get them out of my mind. Horror. <laughs> Smack the thumb, guys. Smack the thumbs. Okay. This would be cute if you have, like, really cute dyes. You can cut out the little dyes and... Put little patterns out. This would be really cute. Um, cute for your office. If you know someone that works in an office, um, this would be really cute. So now for like, too late for Valentine's, but like Mother's Day, you can probably do it for Mother's Day. Make something cute or for a teacher's desk or something like that. If you have someone who's a teacher, you never realized that. <laughs> You love this idea. I'm glad you love it. I saw it and I thought, you know what? Um, a lot of people were saying they couldn't understand the English. Um, you know, they wanted like an English version. So I thought, you know, I want to scrap lift it. Of course, give credit. And I loved it so much. Not much of a paper craft. I haven't paper crafted much in years. So, but yeah. Um, Yeah, it'd be cute to save buttons or tags or something like that, like cards, tags, whatever you have on your desk. It'd be really, really cute. Um, but I saw it and I thought that would be neat. 
So this goes like this inside like that. And so that's why this here will glue up to this. And then this one will glue in like so. Like that. There, right? And uh, it's in the wrong side. That doesn't go there. That's paper. I'm not sure why, why I put glue on that paper. Um, and then that goes like that. Like that. Now, here's what you can do if you guys want. You can decorate, cover up your black chipboard if you want. It's entirely up to you. Like mine's, I didn't even do that. Like, as you can see, it's not. But we can. We can decorate it. If you guys want, you can cover up your black chipboard if you want. I didn't cover up the black chipboard. Now, if you were going to cover up the black chipboard and you would have to cover, cut it the exact same size as the chipboard, which the chipboard, as I told you guys, and I'm not because this one's already not done and I'm not going to go in there and mess up with it. But on my next one, because she didn't put chipboard, the chipboard thing is my doing. So on the, and she didn't cover the inside. So if you guys were to cover up the chipboard, what I would recommend that you do is cut out um, your um, paper to be one and three eighth by four and three eighth for the base and the back, two pieces and one piece that is one and three fourth by one and seventy to go in the inside and cover that chipboard. Okay. I'm not doing it for mine on these three because I have not, I didn't do it on this one and I'm not going to do it now. But if you were to do it, you can cover up your chipboard. Again, I put the chipboard because I wanted it to be sturdy. Okay. All right. So that goes like that. Now what I ended up doing on the inside is I did put a decorative piece and um, you can cut out two pieces that is um, the size of my template, which is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Okay, so we're going to cut that out. Let me move my keyboard because that was a little concerned about a risky. Okay. I need a little secretary to write to write these measurements for me. Four and three quarters by four and three quarters. We need two pieces for the inside. Okay. And again, if you guys wanted any little scraps like this, you could have used it to cover up on top of your chipboard. Um, I just didn't. Hi, Vicki. Welcome, Vicki. Okay. Let me get my coffee. All right. So then we're going to mark. Well, we don't even have to mark. Where's my template? that and then when you're cutting for the outside remember um you're cutting one and then take your template flip it on the opposite side so for instance um this one's gonna go glasses bother my ears so this one's gonna go like that right and then so this paper will go this way so what i would do is i'll flip my template 
on the opposite side so otherwise I would be cutting it wrong so just make sure you flip your papers the right way all right so I already edged this one. Yeah, I already edged that one. So we're going to do this one because I've already edged it. I already put my ink on it. I don't want to do it blue. Look at that. Okay. And so then you can just trim it. News bulletin, what is it? She's not answering, I know. I know, and she's still on. I know she's not answering, guys. I know her mom's sick, I don't know. I don't know yet. She's talking to you. Is she okay, Nikki? Is she okay? I hope she's okay. Okay, so here's this. I'm bring this over. We're gonna glue that there You're here. Okay, Aristine. Are you okay? Yes. Is your mom okay? Aristine, is your mom okay? What are you making? Oh, the file folder. Is your mom okay? It's okay. Okay. I like the one you did before. Yeah, it's pretty. I wish I had. Um, I mean, this paper is pretty. It's not. It's not like that. It's bad. It's just that it's not. It's not the prettiest either, but it's okay. Okay. She, Nikki says she would use our cast, but she's too lazy. I think that makes a lot of us that we're kind of like a um, little on the lazy side of life of things. I tend to use that excuse a lot, um, Nikki. You're too lazy. Again, this is the right time if you guys want to cover your chipboard, cover it and just make it the same width and length of the chipboard piece.
these make cute little corners so i wouldn't even throw these away because you can use these for corners for projects We'll do the opposite side, and then we have these to go on the opposite side, and I got to ink that one. It's this one. What do you put in that side of folders? Huh? What do you put in that size of folders? What do you put in it? You can put tags, you can put cards, you can put anything. Mm. Anything that's small that you want to put in, you put in there. Joyce is small, so she fits there. <sighs> Joyce is small, yeah. I think she's the smallest one of all of us. Yeah, she's petite. Compared to you, yeah, I think a lot of us are petite. <laughs> Compared to me, everyone is petite. Yeah. Aristi's tall, if you guys didn't know that. And fat. That's why women like tall, big guys, because they look so small and tiny next to them. It's flattering. It makes you always feel that you're thin. Guys like big girls. Don't get that wrong. Guys like big girls. They like they like girls that has bones on their body. They don't want a girl that's not that's um, anorexic. Guys like meat on their body. So that when they're holding on, they're holding on to something. Oh, I have plenty of from you to hold on. <laughs> well, then that's a good thing. Because that's what guys want. A girl to be able to hold on to. No, they want, you know, they, that's, that's, a, that's a trick there. That's a trap. They want girls with big, you know, chest and big butt. But a firm, tight body, like Jennifer Lopez, for example, even though she doesn't have big breasts. You know, they, they, they like the Kardashian type because it's too big behind, it's too big in front, but the rest of it is thin and flat, like tummy and hands and stuff. Aristi, um, you come here and you will need all of us to keep men off. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, right. Men keep love, doing. no, men here love big girls. Men like tight bodies, tight young bodies. Not the, the, the age shape, you know, the curve shape, you know, I told you, big cleavage and big, uh, big balconies. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever heard it called big balconies. Okay, so then you're going to take... Here we question. call it balconies, the front uh, part of the woman, they call it balcony. Balcony, I don't think I've ever heard Yeah, it. they want a girl with big balcony. <laughs> I never heard of us be called balconies. Yeah, the breast is called balcony here, big balcony. Really? Never heard of that. Yeah, when a woman doesn't have, a, you know, when a woman is flat, they call it, oh, how do you call that bird that is on the um, Dior's advertise, you know, that wish, whiskey? It's a bird that. Uh, they go hunt it, hunting for it. Uh, let me find it. In, the word in English, I will find it. Okay, guys, you're going to cut a decorative piece that is, um, what is that? One and a quarter by one and a quarter by four and three quarters. And that's going to go on the top of your file folder, like so. And then you're going to cut two pieces of cardstock 
that are one and three quarters by four and three quarters, two pieces, and they go just where I have it right there. And then you need one piece that is one and a quarter by one and three quarters, okay? One and a quarter by one and three quarters, and that goes on this little thing on the opposite side of the chipboard. Again, if you guys want the chipboard to be covered, you cut it the size width of your chipboard. Go ahead, Aristi. The word I found is partridge in the dictionary. Partridge? Yeah, it's P A R T R I. You're trying to say the girls here that are flat uh, breasted are called by that name. Really? Well, that's no. a good. That's it's a good bird. Not an insult. It's not an insult because you know that bird has a nice uh, chest, but it's you know it's not big, but it's a very proud and a nice walking bird. So it's not an insult. It's not like they told you. It's not a you know. But that replies that you have small cleavage. Oh. Joyce says my hubby said his sister is a perfect thirty six. Twelve, twelve, twelve. <laughs> square. She's very square. <laughs> very square. Very flat. And Nikki say that uh, uh, there they call the top shelf. Top shelf. So here, yes, what we call here big balconies. It's called. It's called there the top self. Mm, never heard of that, yeah. those phrases. Yeah, here when we want to describe a woman that has a lot of, you know, curves, yeah. you say big balconies and big porches. Porches, the lower part behind. Wow, never heard of it said that way. Yeah, it's it's every 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 per, every place has a different way of expression. Like uh, in in English, you say it rains cats and dogs. Okay. Uh, here we don't say it rains cats cats and dogs. Here we say it rains chair legs. Chair legs. Chair legs. Yeah. Why chair legs? Okay. Why cats and dogs? <laughs> no, that's just the same. <laughs> Why cats and dogs? I don't know. Somebody know why they say it rains cats and dogs? Cats are always fighting with the dogs. I don't know. Dogs are always fighting with the cats. I don't know. It's but an interesting they that they say ba ba boom. Ba da boom ba da boom. I mean, chair legs is more normal because, you know, chair legs are long and sturdy and they, that means that the rain is long and heavy and sturdy. How, what's the logic about cats and dogs? I don't know. Cats are always fighting and it's always, I don't know. Oh, I have cats and I have dogs. They get along together. Great. They, they sleep with each other. I have a cat and a dog and they don't get along. No, my cat loves my dog. They love each other. It's it's like two cranking spinsters. They get along together great, but not with the rest of them, with the other people. Teresa say here, boobs are knockers and junk in the trunk of, or the button. Junk in the trunk, wow. Yeah, junk in a trunk is when you have a, a big booty. Yeah, it, it, Teresa said it. Hi, Vicky. Did I say hi to Vicky? Hi, Vicky. I think I said, yeah, Vicky Gilbert, yes. Okay, there we have it. Now, here comes the other. This is the only thing about, I don't like about... That's strange that you are using that ruler, how you call it. I remember we were using it to clean sweat shoes. Sweat shoes. Oh, suede shoes. Yeah. Say sweat. Oh, I, I remember. Here we say it's sweat. The word here for sweat. It's sweat. So, sweat. The Greek, the Greek version of it. Yeah. When it's like that. Or castor. 
and not from Castro. <laughs> anyway, it 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 refers to that uh, type of leather that it's you know like velvet, and you can wash it so you clean it with that rubber thing. Yeah. Okay, guys. Now we're gonna remove this bottom piece here, just on one side. Do one side only. Oh, okay. Well, that one lid over. You want to flush it again. It's easier if you flush it against your your um, chipboard. Over. Okay, and then. You can put another piece of chipboard there if you want. I'm not on this particular. I didn't. Okay, Nikki say cats and dogs may come from the Greek for expression catadoxa, which means uh, contrary to experience or belief. It's raining cats and dogs, it is raining unusually or unbelievably hard. Nikki, Google it on Wikipedia. <laughs> Sandra is 5'1. Jokes are you taller than 5'1? She's 5'1. Sandra. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. Hi, Sandra. Uh, Miss, 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 um, Miss Joyce is what? Five? I don't know, five, five. That's short. No, she's taller than me, Miss Joyce, then. I don't know. I don't remember. I know she's petite. She's. I think she's four feet something. Because then I would. Then she's taller than me. That doesn't make sense if she's taller than me. She's five two. Oh, see, oh, yes. oh, you're yes. taller than Sandra. <laughs> you're taller. No, you're no longer the short one, Miss Miss yeah. uh, Joyce. You moved on. We up. have a winner. Sandra is the winner. <laughs> you moved on up. You're taller than uh, yeah. Sandra. You yeah. graduated, Miss Joyce. She upgraded. <laughs> you graduated. Nikki is two, two, five, two, and Teresa is five, two. All the sorts is gathered here. <laughs> Nikki's five, two, two. Yeah, Nikki is five, two, and Teresa is five, two. And Sandra's balconies are small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have that. Then this is going to go in like so inside here now the way she did it she put score tape in there my only problem is that if you put score tape here it's going to be really hard for you guys to not screw it up so wet glue is better than score tape in this case because you can screw it up easily so what i would do is what i would do is kind of measure up Pretty much where this is going to go. So that gives you a guideline. That's where you're going to put your glue at. And 
And you know that from that point, um, where did I put it? That little point right there is where my glue is going to go. Darn, where did I put it at? I did it so good, I didn't even see where I put it. That's where you're going to put your glue, up to that point, okay? It just makes it easier to use white glue. Okay, 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 okay. Joyce is upgrading herself more. Actually, he's five, two and a half. Don't steal the half. Oh. Yeah, so she's taller than uh, Nikki and taller than Teresa. So she went, she's, she, she skipped three, three grades today. She upgraded three levels. Oh, you go, girl. And Nikki say I'm five foot and a one, five, one and a half. So, wow. So we have uh, Sandra first, Nikki second, Teresa third, and Joyce four. fourth. And Joyce is celebrating. Woo, woo. <laughs> Joyce, you're no longer the short one. Yeah, with that rhythm, you will graduate from elementary soon. Yeah. Soon you will be going to high school. No longer the short one, Miss Joyce. Now she put Brad's in there, um, and you guys could do that. Put Brad's to decorate your outside because she put little metal, metal embellishments with Brad's, um, and you can do that. I just glued my metal embellishment straight on without putting the Brad's. That's what I'm going to do. And then I got to cover those Brad's. All right, so there's that. So isn't that cute? I think it gives it, it makes it more sturdy if we have that chipboard on there making that perfect contact. So these are gonna sit, my box is almost, the legs are almost, see that how fast that dries? Pretty dries pretty fast. They're gonna sit just like that. That's very cute and pretty. And we have another winner, Vicky Gilbert. Hello, Vicky. It's only 411. Oh, Vicky. Okay. Joyce graduated from elementary. She is now in high school. <laughs> uh, and Sandra, you've now moved up because uh, yes. Vicky is shorter than the you. Winner. So see how that's going to look? That's going to look really cute on yeah. someone's desk. You will do another one, so it will yeah. be there. Mm -hmm. We have another one yeah. we're going to do. Okay. So that's going to be cute. And then I'm just going to make this as my little trash bin. And I'm going to add some legs on it because I needed a trash bin anyway. So I'm going to do that for my trash bins. So there we go. We have that. So let's do the other one. And then... Um, and Laura say... So cute, and Teresa say adorable, Vicky say cute, 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 very nice. I thought that was really cute. I think I'd make a wonderful gift for somebody who works in an office or, you know, I think it'd be cute. All right, here's it, here it is, voila, we scored it, we did everything we had to do to it. Here's my papers, we just got to distress them. Let's cut them. Yeah. 
So that's going that way, and then we're going to flip the template. When I screw this up, we want to screw it up. Is this way? This has to go in this way. Hopefully, I didn't screw that up. I always screw that up. And then we need to cut two pieces of cardstock. Let's see, this is the same size. I think I need to trim this so we can use this. Sorry, guys, I'm talking to myself. We need two pieces of cardstock that's four and three quarters by four and three quarters. No hinges? No hinges. Mm -mm. Sandra mm -hmm. say that she works in an office. <laughs> there you go, Sandra. You can make some of these for your office. Yeah, I bet. She, I mean, she, she probably say that she wants that. <laughs> You can make these for your I office. I work in an office, not. Huh? Say, I work in an office, not, but she probably means that she wants that, that she likes and she wants. <laughs> yeah. Laura say that she's cold and you're supposed to be 28 this morning. 28 in uh, Louisiana? That's pretty cold for Louisiana, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Vicky say we have our own little office in front of us, so we need one of those. Yeah, there you go. Um, Laura say yep to your answer. Nikki say that your project is cute. Thank you. And you can um, thank um, you can thank um, Ala Ala Gaina, Ala Gaina, I think it's called. She came up with the concept. I just added the chipboard because I just wanted it a little bit sturdier. Sandra say, can I just say I cheat and just cut three boxes of macaroni and not the paper? Low. There we go. You can also do that. <laughs> macaroni and cheese. Could, uh, is it about that size? Yeah, you could probably do that. And you can make a set then and take three cereal boxes that are bigger and create a set with it too much. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yep. I mean, I would if I if I had. Let's see. See, I just I was about to screw that up. Yep. See that. Got to make sure you do it on the opposite side. And I kept checking. So this one goes this way. That's that way. That's this way. Oh, that's right. I got it right. Got to make sure. Yep, that's right. I got it right. Save your scraps because you never know. I always keep little folders of scraps for, and then I put them in my little, this is the scraps for this collection that I've been using. Okay, template is done. Vicky say, yes, that's my office, Sandra. <laughs> She means that she takes macaroni books and stuff and she makes them, alter them. I normally buy my macaronis in bags, so I don't have any macaroni boxes. Unless it's uh, mac and cheese, but... Here we have uh, most of the spaghetti and pasta stuff are in plastic, uh, you know. Yeah. Works. I, I accept the some uh, Italian brands like Barilla, for example, that she comes in papers. Even the long spaghetti comes in papers. Yeah, see, ours comes in papers. Our, our come in bag too. But the simple pasta, not uh, something like uh, you have there, like the macaroni and cheese that it's already remade. 
Yes, Sandra say mac and cheese. Ella, yeah. yeah, mac and cheese. But I think that box is just a little bit more narrow than the Kraft macaroni and cheese. It's not as wide, I don't think. But yeah, you can definitely make one for that, for that, for that size. I'm trying to squeeze this glue out. Is that uh, the tacky glue, what they say, it's like a wet silicone? This is the... It's Many compare it uh, to, you know, the hot glue, like it's a wet hot glue. Is it a... Uh, uh, this, this glue is good for wood, metal, paper. It doesn't work. Fabric, it takes, I, I find it takes forever. I don't like really using it on fabric because sometimes it leaves a little bit of a stain. I don't like... Because it. The, the lady that said that, she was making Sabi Sick project, you know, fabric and lace projects. And uh, she was using that instead of using, a, you know, a heat gun, a hot glue thing. Yeah, this is good. And I asked why, and she'd say me, she told me that's that's the version in a bottle. It's a hot glue in a wet form. Yeah, it's good for, it's supposed to be for fabric. I don't like to use it too much for fabric because I've noticed that it will, like, kind of leave it yellowish. And sometimes it takes longer to dry. Yeah, that's 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 the thing I was thinking that it will take way longer to dry because hot glue dries instantly, almost instantly. You can uh, you can manipulate if you want to remove it. The only positive thing that uh, using that in when I was watching her, it was that she could manipulate it. You know, she could move the lace if he put it properly. It was easy to fix a boo boo, but on the other hand, that item wasn't stable there. No. Good night, Laura. Good night. It's a little bit, um, to me, I've, I've, it leaves a little bit of a yellowish stain on it if you put too much on it. Um, it glues fast on metal and it glues fast for paper. Well, I've noticed that for fabric, it takes, it takes a little bit longer. I don't know why. I don't like it. I would not use it too much on it. I mean, I have, but I don't like it. I prefer to use hot glue. Bye bye, Laura. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams, Laura. I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's. To eat your apples and cookies. Yeah. Apples and cookies. Make sure you eat the right kind of apples and cookies, though. <laughs> Careful with the apples and the cookies. Unless you kind of like that kind of stuff, but you know, just be careful, just saying. No, no judging. <laughs> and if you like that, you each your own. We've been here for yeah. three hours and 43 minutes. I mean, for a while. What time is there? Uh, one nineteen. Hmm. I have been going to bed early. This is the longest I've gone to bed now. I've been trying to go to bed early because it's been kicking my booty. I'm getting up in the morning with the kids. Oh my god, I can't do that. The kids have a three day weekend. Is it some holiday? Uh, President's Day on Monday. Mm -hmm. 
Did Miss Gloria go to bed? Did Miss Teresa go to bed? Or is Miss Teresa hanging in there with us? No, your pet is here. My pet? <laughs> Teresa, Miss Teresa, you need to you need to do something about those lips of hers. Yeah, they will be swallowed from all that kissing. <laughs> the teacher. Teresa, Teresa is saying time flies when you're having fun and good tutorial. Kiss, kiss, kiss Aristi. <laughs> Not me, she's kissing the teacher. No, she says she's kissing Aristi. No, kiss, kiss. Every time she kisses your butt, she puts my name next to it and say kiss, kiss. So he will show me that he, you know, he's been a good pet to her teacher. <laughs> But I told her, as soon as the class is over, I will find her and really smack her. You're going to smack her? Yeah, and she told me that you will drive her home so she will be safe. Here in the U.S., we respect our elders, Aristi. So is she an old lady? She's not an old lady, but she's older than you. She's a student, so she's not an old lady. And Joyce was on the roof. You're on the roof? What the heck were you doing on the roof? Do you need to ask for that? Yeah, what, what does that mean? Joyce does with the president's on the roof. She does what? Don't you know what Joyce does with the president's on the roof? No, what? The same thing that she does in the bath bathtub with the plumber. Oh, my God. Oh, man, I just put this on wrong. Yes, I did. I cut this wrong. Darn it. See that? Talking to you, Aristi. Did even Google. You cut it wrong. No, oh, you glue it from the other side. Because I'm watching YouTube. I'm not watching from StreamYard. StreamYard is very late with comments, so I'm watching through YouTube. So I didn't notice that. The other day I was screaming in the chat that you were cutting that thing wrong. You know, the side right, uh, the side uh, paper oh, from the yeah, Teresa will be 58. Yeah, but you're a student and your teacher's pet. So will you drive Teresa to her home? Will I drive her to her home? Absolutely. Yeah. So I won't bully her? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you will be her bodyguard? Yeah. Going to right, right now? I got her back. I got your back, Miss Teresa. Yeah. <laughs> I got your back. Don't worry about it. I thought, I think, I think Miss Joyce has um, Aristi's back. <laughs> He's so tiny. If I go behind her, how will be? You will see me all over, so she can have my back. <laughs> hey, you never know. Little people are fighters. They're feisty. Yeah, they like like small dogs, like tiny dogs. They yeah, we're aggressive fall. and big dogs. They say big people fall really easily. <laughs> you think so? Yeah, that's what I've heard. <laughs> big people fall very easily, whereas little people, they're fighters. They're going to fight too. Teresa is bullying me. She say, remember that, Aristi? Apples and cookies, LOL. Maybe ice cream tomorrow, so she buys her bodyguard. That pet, that teacher pet is buying you. The teacher's pet is buying me? Yeah. She's buying you protection. <laughs> no, she's buys not you buying you with apples and cookies, and she will even bring you ice cream. 
you bring the ice cream out. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I don't about. remember. Joyce is saying that, under, that I underestimate it. No, I don't underestimate you. I'm just huge. Oh, they're saying that they say dynamite comes in small packages. They say what comes in small packages? Dynamite. Dynamite. You know, the bomb thing. The explosion thing. Oh, dynamite. Dynamite. They come in small packages. Yeah. Sandra say, been there, done that. Did I get this wrong? Oh, my here. One and three quarters by four and three quarters. I got that right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Teresa is so much poking me and poking me. Teresa is saying, watch and learn, Aristi. Watch and learn. How to be a teacher's pet? No, I don't want that. I earned my grades, Teresa, with my ability, not with the apples and cookies and ice cream. So this one is one and three quarters, which is correct. And this one. one and three quarters. Okay, so this one needs to be cut just a tad bit. Did you remember the company of the paper, the European company that you liked? No, I can't remember. I really can't. I can't remember. Oh, it starts with um. It starts with um. Damn, I just can't remember what it was. That's not right. Okay. Teresa, say, hey, I will use what it takes to keep my boat afloat. <laughs> She's so pro provocative, so, you know. Sure, why I cut that again? I already had it. Oh, not even thinking. Wasn't thinking, ladies. All right, so here's a one and a quarter, one and a quarter by one and three quarter decorative hard stock or decorative paper, whatever you guys want to use. On the opposite side. This reminds me of when I used to um, do a lot of craft uh, craft project with the Latinas. Not sure why I put paper there because that's supposed to be glue. I don't want glue to be writing on there. And then this is the um, one and three quarters by four and three quarters, two pieces on the opposite side. And remember that's the base, so that doesn't get anything there. Joy, uh, Teresa, keep poking me. Kiss, kiss, Aristi. Joy saying, I never thought or asked or wanted to be a teacher's favor. I have always wanted to be a nice person. Who said that, Miss Joyce? 
Yeah. And Teresa is saying, Joyce, I'm a nice person. That's why I am teacher's pet. Aristi bullies me. Yeah. <laughs> You walk like a you walk like a how you like a turkey like a bird, and provoke it in showing that you're a teacher's pet and you're proud of it. And now you're saying that I'm bullying you. Oh, I will get you for that. Sandra is leaving. Sweet dreams, Sandra. Good night, Miss. Oh, I did it again. How in the heck? Not supposed to do that. See. Look at your chat. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike. Oh, thank you, Mike. That is so sweet of you. Oh, Mike, that's super awesome of you. He just super chatted me, guys. Wow, that is awesome, Mike. And I just cut that wrong. As much as I tried, I thought I was doing it right, and I cut it wrong. Booey, me. Booey. <laughs> That, that just tells you I'm just getting tired. It's Teresa's fault. Thanks, Mike. It's Teresa's fault because your pet should have already cut them and prepared those for you. <laughs> what type of pet is that? She's an awesome, awesome alumni. That's a lot uh, 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 student that's what she is if she was a good student she wouldn't have to be your pet and bride you with cookies and apples oh she's not she no i already said i don't want no cookies nor uh, nor apples oh i had she's it right bribing you. Yeah, you know she, what? Even, she will I even bring you ice cream i had it right i don't know why i was saying that i had it wrong i knew i had it right you are holding it upside down, probably. I'm holding it upside down. <laughs> My brain's not working. Mike is saying you're more than welcome, lady. Young oh, lady. Thank Sorry. you. That is awesome. You're awesome. That is so awesome. We appreciate you, Mike. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to him, hit him up, guys. I know there's a couple of you guys that um, have not probably um, met Mike, but he's awesome. He's also, he does woodcrafts and stuff like that. Next to the name, not to the name, to, to the end of the sentence, so there are three dots. If you click on the three dots, it will take you to the channel. It has yep. an option to go to the channel. So you can subscribe without leaving the chats here. Yeah. Oh, Teresa is so provocative. If my teacher would have asked me to help, I would. Of <laughs> with cookies in the pocket and cookies in the other. He, <laughs> I will smack that woman. <laughs> he's provocative. She's like, she's giving you hell. She, she, she rubs it through my face. <laughs> and she's good for that. She's going to give you a run for your money. You're going to be dreaming about Teresa tonight. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's 9.30 a.m. here, so I'm fine. I will forget it until I go to bed. <laughs> and then you're going to be sitting in that bed. What did, it, what did that lady, Miss Teresa, say to me again? Mike say, don't judge me by my channel. Uh, they are all adult chats. That's okay, Mike. I think we're all adult women here. We all like to crack it up. <laughs> That's a good thing about these women. They all like to joke. Grab him up if you haven't, guys. Grab him up. bring it up you can tell I'm getting tired it's like I'm seeing I'm seeing multiple stuff I didn't get that one right when you're up like at the crack of dawn with your kids 
and you're trying to craft at one in the morning and I'm I got up at the crack of dawn. Mike is asking what you're making. I'm making these little file. Mm, see, let me show you, Mike. So this is a cute little um, box that you can make for your desk. And these little file boxes goes in there. So I'm making the third one. You could sit on your desk and put little file thingies on there. That's what I'm making. Okay. That one goes like soup. Okay, I need your advice. Mm -hmm. You give your cat her medication. If she doesn't take it from the food, and if you can uh, mm -hmm. open his mouth and <laughs> shove it to his throat because it turns aggressive. What? I have to give the cat medication, me meds, her pills, uh -huh. mm -hmm. for 10 days. Mm -hmm. The first pill went to waste because when I smash it in smaller pieces and put it in a, a, a her food, you know, the wet food, mm -hmm. He ate the food and reject the pill. And when I tried to put it in his mouth, he just bite me and scratched me and all that funny stuff and left. Mm. <laughs> Mike is saying that's a great idea. Honestly, it looked like a paper airplane at the first. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> like a rocket or something. Or something from... Um... Like one of those superhero things, like a sword. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It reminds me of something my son has made for um, Pokemon or something. When he was into the Pokemon stages. Nikki the cat, uh, you know, are the straight uh, that are gathered so. He's not so, he won't sit to do that. What does a cat like to eat the most? It doesn't matter. I put it in the food. He liked the food. I put it in the food and he managed to take the pill out. Can you dissolve it in water? It again, and when I smash completely the, the pill and mix it with the food, because the pill is bitter, he didn't touch the food either. I would just stick it in their mouth. <laughs> Joyce has a point. Aristi can bully us, but her cat bullies her. <laughs> that was. He doesn't bully me. He's just not cooperative. Your cat doesn't bully you. He's just not cooperating. Yeah. All right. Mark it right. Oh, I forgot to put. I forgot, forgot to put the spine. Look at that, guys! You guys didn't remind me that. The good thing I I saw it, and I'm like, wait a minute, something's missing. Felt like it's all the lobby. <laughs> Hashtag thug cut. <laughs> I would say I would just force it down his throat. I tried, but he bite my fingers. Bite him back. He ran away. Bite him he's back. Very, he's very aggressive. They are not, uh, you know, they are straight cats. They are not uh, born and raised in a house and they are, you know, sweet and cute and all that funny stuff. Then bite him back. I don't know. For example, he he likes to be pet. He likes to pet him and you know hug him. And, but he doesn't like to be hugged. For example, or lift. He doesn't let you lift him or hug him. But he likes to rub his ears. For example. 
He wants you to rub his ears, but he doesn't want you to lift him. Lift him up. That's how our cat is. But our cat is mean. She is bitter. Huh? Mike is saying to dissolve it in milk. Uh, the pill is too bitter. Plus, the cats must not eat, uh, must not drink milk because they can digest it and it causes diarrhea. Diarrhea, yeah. Yeah. So you can only give them a uh, milk like soya, almond milk that type, or milk without uh, how you call it, lactose without lactose. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I said. You're gonna have to sweeten that that pill up with something. Oh, it's not better. It will be f f better if the doctor gave me that med in, uh, you know, in an in injection form. It's easy. You just inject it and it's it's easy for me to do that. It's way easier. Look at your chat, uh, May. <gasps> and they come from your favorite classmate. Oh, Miss Teresa, thank you. <laughs> You're so oh, Miss Teresa will smack you. <laughs> You're so sweet. Yeah, the kiss kiss, he always spoke me about it. Kiss kiss, arrest. <laughs> because I tell her that she kiss your butt. <laughs> that much, with so much kissing in May's butt, Teresa, you won't need any fillers in your lips. <laughs> any fillers now you will have your your lips swallowed yesterday she was saying to me that don't worry because she uses a good lip balm <laughs> she uses a good lip balm yeah <laughs> thank you Miss Teresa <laughs> okay so here's that so we're going to Probably decorate it with some metals, um, which is what she kind of did. And I'm just going to use some of the metals that I have. Um, so she doesn't buy you only with uh, apples and cookies and ice cream. You know why she gave you those money? Because the glass is close to be over. So... <laughs> to wrap it up so she will have to go home and she's paying you to take her home with your car <laughs> that's why she did that i knew it we could put these little kind of corners on there i might do that i like that um and then we can put Yes, I carry around the supply of lip balm, Miss Aristi. You put one on each end, like so. You'll have to measure that to make sure it's centered. Okay? Because otherwise, if it's not centered, boy, that's not going to be good. So we're probably going to do that. And then for the back, we're probably just going to put this one here. I'm going to find something smaller. Teresa is saying you're welcome, Miss May. I appreciate you, Miss Teresa. That's very sweet of you. I have this one as well. No, I like the other one. All right, so we're probably going to go with like a little metal here on the corner on each side. And we need two, four, six. And then we're going to need two, four, six, four. Hello, Grace. Hello, Grace. Grace. No, so me. Huh? 
Grace is saying, looking awesome, me. Your oh, project. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you, Miss Grace. Okay, so let's measure this bad boy. And we're going to, again, we're going to put this in the corners on each side. Like that. I think that'll look cute. What do you guys think? Kind of give it a cute little more decorative approach to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a stamp or something to stamp on that uh, um, dark red paper? So I have something. I'm, I'm going to probably cut out a piece of. Um, so it won't look so empty. Well, on, on the on the burgundy, I'm putting on. Hold on, metal there. But I thought about cutting out one of the calling cards that comes in this kit. Calling cards. You need something not dimension, something flat. Here. Yeah, in the in the red paper, in that good, good that dark red paper. Well, I was thinking about it's doing that. Because you need something to be. First of all, uh, if you ask me, it will be a waste to put metal there because it will be hidden in the box. And then you need something flat so it won't, uh, you know. When uh, they touch each other, they won't scratch or they won't be too bulky. Well, like a stamp or a piece of paper or something. Uh, well, we have these little calling cards that came in here. Like, uh, do you have any stickers or stamp with words like um, encouraging words? Encouraging words? Yeah, yeah, like quotes or something. Mm -hmm. So when you pick it up, you also will read that and make your day. Oh, uh, you have you bought some stamps for your planners or something? Does it fit there, or they are too big? Words? No, those are too big. Those are made for planners. That's okay. Planners. But this might be work. This might work. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's cut some of these up. It would have been nice if it were like a nice little pretty chipboard. Grace is saying, even if I seek out, oh, what is homage of a rose? Image, image of a rose, okay. Even if I seek out, if I seek out, image of a rose, he says. Of a rose? Yeah, Grace is saying, even if I seek out, image of a rose, to go with the paper. Mm, not maybe a butterfly. Practice your calligraphy. You can practice your calligraphy and write something on it. I, I need to practice the calligraphy before I even do that. <laughs> <laughs> Floppy handwriting. <laughs> I can tell you right now, the practicing hasn't gone very well <laughs> because I haven't done it. I'm bad. I, I admit, I am bad about that kind of stuff. like i say i'm gonna do it i get it and then i i get so tied up with stuff let me see hold on let me see let's see let's see mm. i don't like it Because I don't even like that. That's ugly. 
butterfly? I'm thinking of a butterfly, but I think these butterflies are too big. Great thing it will be a stamp of a word, maybe with uh, embossing on it or something. But even a simple stamp of a word would be nice. But you say you don't have a stamp like that. You got a fussy, you're making me fussy cut as much as I don't like fussy cutting. Yeah, it's great for the arthritis. No, it's not. Who said that? Ironic. I was ironic. I know that. Ironic or you're being sarcastic? No, it's irony when you say that something is... Uh... No, that's being sarcastic. You're being sarcastic. When you don't like to do something and you say, yeah, let's do it, you're being sarcastic. Where is your pet? Mm -hmm. Where is your pet, Teresa? 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 Yeah. Why are you bothering Teresa? What did she, she do to you? <laughs> she is your pet. <laughs> she did nothing to you. <laughs> she is your pet, a shameless pet, and she's proud of it. <laughs> she is... She is Probably getting her coffee. Oh, you know what I might get? Hold on, I might have something else. Just let it go. I think it's going to be sad. And then I forget that. Where's Lourdes? Yeah, where's Lourdes? And Jamie. Jenny has her boyfriend stolen to, to today and tonight, and she wasn't even here to realize it. Lourdes is um, Jenny is probably, um, she was probably working. Oh, wait, Lourdes might have spent some time with um, her kid. Her son might have. So, wax paper on there. Okay. That one was a little bit. I think we're going to put these in the back because I like those and it gives a character in the back. We're going to put that in the back. And then I'll put a piece of pearl in the center. It would have been nice typewriter paper. It's something typed. back and clean all those little edge all the rubber glue Silence. Everybody gets silent all of a sudden. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Ladies, she is maybe sleeping. Who? Lourdes? 
Munda's probably sleeping. I don't know. She might be still sick. I'm going to probably check up on her. She might be still a little sick. Okay. Oh, this is so funny. Lourdes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she, how she explains to me stuff. Whenever I ask something, she's the first that she will ask her uh, answer me. Grace is saying Valentine's Day. Hola, amor. What did you get for Valentine's Day, Grace? What did your hubby get you? Grace is saying use an old invoice. I don't know what that means. Teresa is back. Oh, here comes the pet again. She probably went to, to pee or something. <laughs> you should walk your pet, you know. <laughs> Joyce is saying I uh, love you night owls. Teresa is saying I uh, hear your Risty, your bullying voice carries all the way to the kitchen. <laughs> Grace is saying that she got 12 red roses. Aww, how sweet. That is sweet. Is that from the hubby or the kids? Or all of them? From the postman. <laughs> from the postman? Sorry, it's a Greek joke we say here. Here, when you have a kid and it doesn't look like the parents, like the dad, we say it's from the postman. It's the postman kids. No, we say it's from the, the, the baker. <laughs> we say the postman. The milkman. <laughs> so the flowers were from the postman. Everybody but the man. <laughs> Everybody but the man that needs to be the daddy. Hold on a second. We need to find something really good for this. Let's see if we come up with a really good calling card. Hmm. Not a very good Nikki say they say the milkman. <laughs> The milkman, that's what they <laughs> like that. Yeah, that's what they say in Puerto Rico. The milkman, the postman, the bread man, somebody but the man man. Everybody but the man that needs to be the man. Everybody but the man. Milkman, the bread man. Check the roof. Great. Joyce with the roof. Check the roof. Joyce always forget her stuff in the roof. He's in a hurry when she goes in the roof. She's in a hurry when she's hurrying up or she goes in the roof. Yeah, imagine that she's in the house doing something, crafting or doing the jars in the house and all that stuff. So he gets the call to go in the roof, so he carries her stuff there. She always forgets something there. Her glasses, <laughs> you know, <laughs> whatever, the scissors, <laughs> whatever she was carrying. Her bra. <laughs> her bra? <laughs> you forget your bra too, Miss, uh, Miss uh, Joyce? <laughs> I don't know, Miss Joyce. You know what Joyce will forget on the roof when she goes there? I don't know, Miss Joyce. That sounds like a problem. 
Oh, and you know what? I have a little die cut book. Hold on. Where did it go? Did I get rid of it? Did I threw it away because I'm recording it to the moon. I have to substitute this one for I think I may have found it. Where did it go? Yes, you always forget your underwear there, Joyce. <laughs> Joyce forgets what? Her underwear on the roof. Her underwear? Oh my God. <laughs> Miss Joyce. Vicky says she's trying to build up that balcony. <laughs> And Joyce said, don't forget the apples. <laughs> Miss Joyce, you really are uh, forgetting a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's the innocent ones that uh, are the, you know, the party animals. <laughs> they have that innocent look. You, you see Joyce and you see, ah, oh, what a sweet old boring lady. <laughs> what a tiny girl. A sweet, tiny, innocent girl. Yep, right. She's the troublemaker. Joyce, is that true? Or is a wristy, is or is a wristy just fibbing again? I have the fame. She has the power. <laughs> She's saying a wristy, OMG. Teresa is, Teresa is saying, I will never hear apples the same again. No, me either. Me either, Miss Teresa. <clears throat> These ladies have corrupted my mind and I'll never see apples the same away. I always thought apples were supposed to be something beautiful. Something funny. Make the doctor away. And these ladies have put apples in a different taste to me. Corrupted my little. I can't say virgin mind, but Joyce says I like to have fun. Told you. Told you. Joyce likes to have fun. Joyce was part of I can imagine Miss Joyce being a party animal when she was younger. Teresa is so provocative, so shamelessly provocative. Look what she's hear what she's saying. Aristi has started every bit of this. Don't let her fool you. Kiss, kiss, mwah, Aristi. <laughs> <laughs> she's asking for it. Don't blame me afterwards. Don't blame me afterwards. <laughs> Here it's a phrase. Uh, when somebody's too, too, too provocative, they say, and then you blame the murder. And she's laughing. Hello, hello, hello. Jeez. Oh, gosh. What if I what are that? you looking for? We're trying to find something for that. I don't find anything at the moment, and I have to probably. I just got some things the other day, but none of these will work. You know what? I have something that's coming in from my rusty crown. I might have to wait till that comes in because I ordered some stuff from my rusty crown. Maybe when that comes in, I will have something closer to that.
this? Maybe I can put... See, they're not purple. That's the problem. Grace is saying my roses are up on my Facebook. Your roses? The gift from her hubby. <clears throat> that was really sweet of your hubby. Joyce is saying Buford had too many of apples, I don't know. And Teresa is saying Buford has his handful with many of the ladies. Buford has his handful. He has his handful. I think he disappeared on us because he had too much of a handful. Yeah, Penny was too aggressive when she say hello boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she thought, okay, I'm her boyfriend. I must give her a Valentine's gift. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I better, better leave before before they start asking me for more. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't sign up for all this. That's probably what he was saying. Well, wait a minute. I didn't sign up to give anybody any gifts. He's probably saying, no, wait, wait, she's too close to me. Any of these guys. I'm gonna have to wait. I'm gonna wait till the the stuff that I ordered comes in because I ordered something for my rusty crown that might work from 49 and Market. Um, Because that paper, is, it's like a lavender color, and I, like, this one would be cute. Butterfly one. I thought it was going to, that might be cute, but it's not from the collection, you know? Yeah, see, I like I like my stuff to be from the collection. I'm going to have to see what they have for this collection. Don't stress about it. First of all, it's a plate, it's a, it will be hidden, it won't be covered, uh, it won't be showed. Yeah. It will be hidden when it's in the box, and then you can come afterwards and put something there. Decorate the rest. Don't stuck your brain in something. You just decorate the rest, and you will do it afterwards. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna see if I find anything else from that collection that I can put on there. Maybe afterwards, you will find something in your stuff that you would like to be there, or a stamp, or a decorated piece, or something. You never know. Maybe you will get a new thing and put there. Plus, uh, when you have it in the box, it it's not even sewing. That's why I told you put a stamp on it. Because it's not sewing, so you will have to waste, you know, supplies there. Plus you need something not bulky or dimensional. So it won't it will fit in the box. Teresa is saying they are pretty as seas, Miss May. They're what? They are pretty as is, Miss May. That's from your pet. Kissing, <laughs> kissing. <laughs> Miss Teresa, she not she's naughty, isn't she, Miss Teresa? <laughs> from yeah. now on, from now on, Teresa will sign us <laughs> from your pet with love. <laughs> you want me to smack her, Miss Teresa? Hey. 
What? How dare you? <laughs> and you, and don't, and don't you forget it's a risk. <laughs> I told you she's provocative. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, Miss Rice the Crown. My Rice the Crown. My Rusty Crown, I love that store. I love that store. That's a that's an awesome store. Oops, sorry guys. Maybe she thinks that the name sounds wrong. Grace is saying that. Joyce. Yes. What about my Rusty Crown? Maybe she finds the name wrong. Rusty and Crown. Crown, crown, like the crown you put on your head. It's like the crown you about being exhausted, guys. Okay, we're going to do one or two things. Let's see. Put the pearl. Oh, that's pretty. I think I like the pearl better. this guys and then we're gonna wrap it up because I am like beat all right so that's down at about a half of an inch I am beat we're gonna put this in and then I'm gonna wrap it up because this brain is not functioning I got into the habit of going to bed early because Still on here, Rusty? Aristi left us. She must have lost internet again. You're right. Okay, Miss um, Teresa, I'll give you a ride, hon. I will surely give you a ride, for sure. You can count on that. There's a wristy. Yeah, I lost connection. I figured you did. It's my good internet. It's your good internet. Yep. 
Teresa, don't make me make those maze car tires flat, so you will have to walk to your house. Don't want to do that. You don't want to piss the mist. Yeah. He needs you to be her bodyguard. I'm thinking of putting a throat. Look how dirty that stuff, the uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Joyce will give her a ride. Told you, Teresa is buying. She's been pet to everyone, so she will buy protection. She's being smart. <laughs> She's playing her card right. <laughs> Look how your fingers go. Oh, I will yeah. find her. Huh? I will find her, don't worry. <laughs> You'll find her? Yeah. I like the pearl there in the center. You guys look at that. It's going to be pretty. Right there in the center. Before I do that, I need to make sure it stays where it needs to stay. And that may on like so. Okay. All right, so this one's done, and we can pin it, not pin it, but glue that down. I hate my fingers to be gluey. Oh, that's pretty. And then what I'll do is probably find something that we can put here. Although I do like that there. I do, I do. Terrence, so we can look. I like that there. I, don't, I know you said no, but I like it like that because it gives it. I didn't say it doesn't look good. It looks great. But uh, if you put that there, you will put six of them. Will that fit the boxes afterwards? Will well, the boxes fit inside afterwards? They're flat. It looks great there, but you will have to put six of them. That yeah. will make it too bulky. No, but they're flat. They're not... See how flat they are? They're thin. Try it before you glue them. Try it before you glue them so you won't regret it. Put them Put them in the gaps. Put the th all three of box in the box and put six of them in between. So oh, you I will see the fit. I can't put six of them in between unless I have six arms. Oh, just no, don't hold them. Just place them there. But how are they, if I place them there, they're going to fall off. Yeah, but they will sit on the bottom. You will see that. Put it, put it. You will see. Put it. Put the next box. Don't hold it. Don't keep it. You don't have to. Just leave it. It will fall. Okay. Put the other box. Put the other box first. You have to put two there, not one, two. Hey, Miss Bossy Pants, you're Miss Bossy. <laughs> Have patience. Patience is a virtue. I never met her. You never learned that one? <laughs> no. <laughs> put the other box first. Hold on. <laughs> 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 Miss Teresa, you got the right now to um, smack her. Please smack her. Oh, I dare her to come and face me. Go for her. Go for her. Ms. I Teresa. dare her to come and face me. Oh, here. I will see then if he says kiss, kiss, and mwah when she will be alone. Kiss. Get her, Miss Teresa. Get her. <laughs> yeah, he's your Rottweiler. Get her. Get her. <laughs> it fits. It fits. Then do it. The thing is, if it fits, 
because as you saw, it's a bulky thing if you put six of them one next to each other. It takes space. I think it looks pretty. It gives it a nice Victorian look. Yeah, it looks pretty, but it, I only say, you know, like a stamp or something, so it won't be bulky. Miss <laughs> Teresa is saying me and told you she was a bully. Miss Teresa, I think you're right. Smack yeah. her. Smack her, Miss Teresa. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, what he say? Teresa is saying, kiss, kiss, I will box your balcony, Miss Aristi. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Hey guys, who's good at math? Because I can't think of right now. What's half of four and three quarters? It's not two and a half. It's two and two and one and a half. No, it's not two and one and a half. That's that's five. One and a half. If you say three quarters, so one and a half quarter. No, four and three quarters. Four and three quarters is two and one and a half quarter. One and a half quarters. Have you ever? I don't know how you say it in quarters. You say it's two, so it, you say it's four, so the half of four is two, and three quarters, so the half of three quarters is one and a half quarter. Does that make sense to anybody? Okay, so I don't know how you measure you. You Americans have the quarter things. We have centimeters is simple. It's way, way simple. We don't have the you know, quarters and eights and... I think it's... Um, God, I can't think right now. Half of that five is two... It's three, three eights. Three, three eights. That's what I thought. Three eights. Three eights. Oh, Thank we you, Whoever was kind enough to provide me with that information instead of it was one me. Nobody wrote it. It was me. I found out the three eights. Oh, okay. Well, that nut that was trying to tell me one and a half quarters. I don't know how you do it in quarters and that system. We don't have that system. But imagine that since you have the eights, so the half of uh, three quarters is three eights. That's how I imagine that. We don't have that system here. She doesn't have a system of one and a half quarters. We don't need No, that. we have centimeters. I told you we have centimeters, so they don't divide it like that. We don't really? say three quarters for eight or so. I'm messing with you because we don't have one and a half quarters. Just <laughs> kidding. Now I'm messing with you. I was just going to get pissed off and tell me to go to hell. No. You're not going to tell me to go to hell. Teresa is saying that will be a risk if you are talking about a nut. Oh, I re Teresa, I will get your butt and you won't be able to sit. Trust me. You won't be able to what? To sit. I will spunk her like a uh, penny like. <laughs> Who listens to MS? What is MS? I don't know. What is MS? MS multiple sclerosis? Grace is not three quarters because she said it was three quarters in the start, so she wanted the half of three quarters. Half of three quarters, then. It's three, eight, it's, three eight. it's three eight. I just couldn't think. I wasn't given the answer. I just thought that, that since you have the eight. For once, the Greek woman, the Greek woman was right. For once, for mm -hmm. once, we yeah. give you math. We give you philosophy. We give you vocabulary. We give you meds. Even the test part you are doing now, it's from a Greek guy. And it you was, 
Just from yeah. George Papa Nicolaus, the Greek test pop you're doing. And you gave me, oh, we gave you the lights. <laughs> and and you gave me the mouth. <laughs> yeah. you, you guys see that abuse? That's abuse. Yeah. I think you're right, Miss Teresa. She's a bully. And Joyce is saying, May, this is the first time I have heard you be a potty mouth. <laughs> No, she has been before. <laughs> boy, I, bring, I, bring, I bring the dark side to everyone. You know, I wake up the... <laughs> it, it was your great friend, Miss Miss Joyce. Your great friend. The one you consider almost like your daughter. You know, that crazy one that's sitting on the panel. I wake that up the basic instincts, instincts in all of you. <laughs> It's that one, Miss 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 um, Miss Joyce. Joyce. Blame her. Blame her, Miss Joyce. I, she corrupted my mind. Yeah, right. Like it wasn't there. <laughs> she corrupted I, bring it, I just bring it to the surface. Okay, you're gonna have to find the center point of all this, and I'm only doing it. Joyce is saying, I understand. And she wrote it in capitals. I understand. She corrupted. Did she corrupt you too, Miss Joyce? Yeah, like I made Joyce go on the roof. <laughs> I think you did. Yes, actually, I did. Because it was an inside joke whenever she was, uh, you know, what you're doing and I wasn't doing anything or the things were bad and stuff. I was telling her, okay, I'm on the roof with the cats having sex. <laughs> She's on the roof with the cat. <laughs> yeah. Now I don't want to have to question that. Wait a minute. That didn't sound right, Aristi. Listen to yeah. you say that. You're so, on the roof. One day, Joyce wasn't feeling uh, good, and I asked her, okay, where are you? And she told me, I'm on the roof. <laughs> and I, when I told her, oh, wow, with whom? And she told me, with the president. <laughs> well, you Look said... Earth was watching her. <laughs> I'd rather be on the roof with the president than with the cat having sex. Okay, you work with what you get. I don't have a president or a guy or anything. <laughs> So you're going to go on the roof with your cat? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, I think I took her off. I think I kind of got her off there. <coughs> you do what you have to do. You work with what you get. I don't know if I want to be on the roof with a cat. <laughs> there are so many male cats here and always in the mood for, you know, and they chase the female cats. In fact, you can hear them now. There are two cats outside and screaming and fighting about a woman cat, male cat, a female cat, sorry. Are they fighting over you? No, not even the cats are fighting over me. <laughs> not even the cat. I don't know. We don't know. You're just holding out on us. Now you're saying there's a cat involved. I didn't know about a cat. FYI, no cats or other animals were involved in this video. <laughs> no pets were abused. <laughs> no cats were hurt during the making of this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you ladies are young now about this. I don't know, Miss or um, Miss Joyce. I don't know. I think this this Greek girl is a little bit cuckoo for Cocoa Pops. And I thought I was crazy. But I think she got me beat. That's just like having that drink, sex on the beach.
right, we're going to let these suckers dry up. Hopefully they'll dry up. I'm not going to pile them one on top of the other. That won't be smart. It's heavy there. Go outside, Aristi, and yell, I have apples. You know, you're never, no one's ever going to let you go get away. What with is holler? Holler means scream. Oh. <laughs> That's what you do, Teresa. <laughs> uh, go outside. Go outside. I don't bribe people with apples and cookies and whatever. You don't bribe people with cookies and apples? No. But you like cookies and apples? Mm -hmm. I don't eat apples much. And cookies or and I prefer salt stuff, not sweet stuff. Mm. Oh, if I Oh, that looks pretty, guys. I think we got it. I think we've caught it, ladies. Hello, Dr. Mary. Hello. Oh, I like it. All right, I'm just going up to about, let's see, can we go from the ruler down? One, two, three, four. Five. I like how the color of the metal looks with the dark red. In the background. Yeah, it looks good. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven eighths down, which is about an inch actually, not seven eighths. An inch and, and over two and three eighths. About the center. Of it. Thank you, Miss Teresa. You're going to hear um, Aristi say, teacher's pet, teacher's pet. <laughs> okay. I think that's perfect right there. Teresa is giving you apples, cookies, and ice cream. She will get you fat in no time. Do you remember one day, for days, not one day, for days you were saying that you want uh, ice cream and cookies or ice cream and uh, cake? Yeah, ice cream and cookies. <laughs> okay. Oh, ice cream and cake. Teresa will give it to you and make you fat in no time. <laughs> ice cream and cake is what I wanted. Your pet will give it to him. Mm -hmm. Hear that, Miss Teresa? Can you believe it's that? A loyal pet and she loves you and she wants you happy and she will do whatever you want. As long as you give her good grades and escort her to the house so I won't beat her ass. Oh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Teresa, you hear that? I think you need to say something, Miss Teresa. We'll come back and clean all the glue. The glue. Look, look, look.
Joyce got me socks. She got you what? Socks for the legs, you know, socks. Yeah. Yeah. Two pairs of gray socks. You didn't have socks before? Be warm. <laughs> You didn't have socks before? I had socks. She got me socks. And last year she also got me socks. <laughs> it's like here when women get for the men shirts. She got me socks. Guys, don't forget, Aristi has some journals for sale. If anybody's interested in buying any journals. Evelyn got one. Thank you. And thanks for the promotion. You're my pimp. <laughs> I'm pimping you out. That's right. Yeah, I, I did the same to Nikki once. Nikki, you know, the, the New Zealand. Mm-hmm. Uh, she made a, a nice um, micro album and it was really nice and I told her sell it and I posted in the groups and all that stuff and I was her pimp. You pimped her out? Yeah. Teresa is saying that she has tears in her eyes from laughing and you will have tears afterwards because I will kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a threat. <laughs> I think she's threatening you now, Miss Teresa. <laughs> oh, and she said, I will wave at her as we ride by a wristy. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> and Joyce is saying her feet is always cold. My feet are always cold, too. I always have socks on. And I always cover my feet when I, I gotta have my feet covered when I'm in bed. I cannot have my feet uncovered. I'm bad superstitious about that. Somebody might pull my feet. Spirits or something. I can't sleep with socks on. I can't breathe for some reason. Some reason. You can't breathe? I'm wearing my socks while I'm sleeping, I can't breathe. You're not supposed to breathe through, through your feet. You breathe through your mouth. I know. <laughs> I'm not that dummy. Like, I can breathe when my hands are not freshly washed. If my hands are dirty or my nails are dirty, I feel like I'm breathing something dirty. I, I remember many times I, I woke up from bed, I got up from bed to go wash my hands. And I know I can, I don't breathe from my hands or from my feet. <laughs> Good, I wasn't sure if you didn't know that. I thought maybe you no. thought you, you you breathe through your hand and feet. Yeah. <laughs> I, was about, I, was, I was about to worry about you for a second. And, <laughs> yeah. and she really thinks it's their, their own OCD issues. Does she really think she breathes through her nose? I mean, through her feet? <laughs> See, Nikki, who is here, and say, I really did pimp me. I was too shy to sell my album. And the, but the funny thing is that when when Nikki does stuff, they are pretty. She does stuff like that, that like the thing you're doing now. And she watches the details and put a nice uh, metal uh, details on it and watches the corner and does very clean cut work. <clears throat> Did you finish the last uh, journal you were working, Nikki? Because you have to sell that, you know. And if you don't sell it, you know, Richie's going to pimp you out. <laughs> yeah. Risty will pimp you out. Teresa, say, oh, you're going to kick my butt and you don't know how to put on socks? <laughs> oh, I will get you, sweetie. I will get you. 
<laughs> Don't make me come there. <laughs> hey, look, the, the eraser even works for your hands. Oh, nice. I like that. <laughs> 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 you will, now you will start scrubbing with that eraser. <laughs> yeah, it erases my hands off, my the glue gunk. Guys, if my mom saw me right about now, she'd probably think, oh, look, you look like mother like daughter. My mom always had her glasses up to her nose, and my glasses are down to my, the tip of my nose. I feel like my mother right about now. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Sometimes we we just copy paste them if we, even we even we even if we don't wish that. Yeah, we do. Monkey see, monkey does. We look, we resemble like we resemble our parents sometimes more than we want to accept. Although I I, I think my mom was a beautiful woman. So I don't mind looking like her ever. to come in when everything dries up and clean on my glue. Look, Aristi, it all fit in there. You see that? Looks Very pretty guys, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. I just gotta clean up my glue mess. And here in the front we could probably put little names or something like that. I don't know. I'm gonna have to put a little I think that'll be cute there. Yeah. Instead of a key. What do you guys think? Teresa is saying, wow, that's going to look real pretty on a desk in Ohio. <laughs> look at that's that. That's why he was being your pet all this time. What do you guys think? Is the pearl there? You have to turn it a bit so we can see it on the screen. Pearl on the key hold. Key hold. That way you cover the key hold. But it gives it character. I don't know. Very pretty. Good job. Thanks for the tutu, Vicky. And it goes really well with the Looks button. really great. You guys like it with the pearl? Pearl or not, girls? With pearl or without it? See, without the pearl or with the pearl? Turn it on the screen. You have to turn it a bit on the screen. Face up. Pearl. Pearl or without it? With or without it, girls? Yes, Pearl. Yeah, of course. Your pet will say yes to anything you say. You're very welcome, Miss Vicky. Yes, Pearl, without. Without. Teresa, make your mind. With or without it? Grace doesn't know. Joy says without. There is a say yes, Pearl, and then say without. I like how stable she is. <laughs> Vicky say without. Grace say without. Okay, without. Everyone say without. Okay, without. Because you, you lose the keyhole, that's the point. It looks pretty, but it only looks like a metal frame afterwards. Mm -hmm. Nikki say without. 
It looks very beautiful. You'll have to go look at the other video she did. I wish I could find that paper line she used. She used a very beautiful paper line. Um, but that came out really stinking cute. All right. That about does it. And this is going to be my little trash bin. I'm going to put some little walls in there because that was my that's the one we did with the um hinges so you guys ready for some measurements write down these measurements and i'll grace is saying if only you had a little key dangling on the chain attached on that box oh yeah that would have been cute i do have some little keys okay all right, listen up, guys. I'm gonna give you measurements, so y'all better write this down. Okay, measurements. Let's clean up some of these scissors. Be right back. Yep, we're about to do measurements. Okay, let's give measurement size. Clean up my mess before I even give measurements. Okay, so for the box, for the box, you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of craft cardstock, craft paper, or any type of craft cardstock, any type of cardstock. You're going to score it at 1 and 5 8 and 3 and 3 8 in each side all around the four corners, 1 and 5 8 and 3 and 3 8. Okay? And then you're going to cut on the little corners the four corners you're going to cut out um your piece to create like a flap okay so you'll have to see that part of the video and then um i use chipboard on mine just because i wanted it to be sturdier but you can see the video of the girl that created this tutorial um she didn't but you can use it you can do it the way she did it if you don't want to use chipboard now i use for the base um a piece of chipboard that was five and one eighth by five and one eighth and four pieces of chipboard is one and a half by five and one eighth and before you glue down your sides you want to glue down that and then you're going to cut four pieces of a decorative paper or cardstock that is one. Okay, hold on. One and a half by five and one eighth. Four pieces. Okay. And then for the outside, you're going to cut. Um, Four pieces that are one and three quarters by five and one quarter, four pieces, and that's this, this burgundy color down here. Okay. Remember to glue your flaps on the outside, not on the inside. She does it on the inside. It's best if you do it on the outside. And then your decorative piece here the mat here for this layer this one is well uh one and a half you need four pieces of one and a half by five and one eight and then you're going to mat it onto your cardstock and then glue it onto your thing okay if that made any sense and then for your little File folders, 
you're going to take you need three pieces of craft card stock or any type of card stock that are 11 and a half by 12. On the 11 and a half side, you're going to score it at five inches and at six and a half inch. Then you're going to rotate the paper to the 12 and 12 inch side and you're going to score it at five and you're going to score it at 10. On the side that has a small little piece over here, the little flap over on the small side, you're going to have the bigger pieces and the small one. You're going to trim up, okay, and you're going to cut that that those the opposite side of each little square, and then you're going to cut off one inch off each opposite side, and then you're going to score it at two inches on each opposite side, okay? That's your fold in. I guess I should be doing it like that. And then um, I use chipboard and for the base, it was one and three eighth by four and seven eighth. And if you're going to use your cardstock to cover that, cut it the same size, one and three eighth by four and seven eighth. On the side, one and three eighth, which is the back, one and three eighth by four and seven eighth. So you're going to need two of those. And then for the spine, which I call the front, one and three eighth by one and seven eighth. That's chipboard. And then you have your decorative pieces. Okay. And your decorative pieces. You're going to need one and two pieces of one and three quarters by four and three quarters. And then you're going to need one piece that is one and a quarter by one and three quarters. And then you're going to need another piece that is one and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then you're going to need two pieces that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Actually, you really need um, two decorative and two cardstock so you can cover the inside. And remember to do a template and go in at two inches on the top, two inches on the bottom, and miter that corner and use that as your template to be able to cut the sides. Okay. And that about does it, guys. If you guys have questions, you can always um, either watch the video or just send me a message. And I'll try to answer it the best that I can. Or just watch the girl. She does it. It's in Spanish. Um, but she did a wonderful job as far as explaining it. Um, as far as I'm concerned, she did a good job explaining it. Okay, but it turned out really adorable and it would make a beautiful little gift for anybody. Um, I got to go in and clean my, my glue, but then once I get it done and I think I want to do it on another paper, like I would love to see it on another, this gives me like a Victorian feel to it. And if you make like little books to put inside, like Dollar Tree has these little books. A pack of three for a dollar. You can even fit those in and look, it fits perfect right in there. So if you decorate this and you just make it just a tad bit bigger, you can make a little journals to go inside, decorate them, and they can go inside and you can keep them in for notes. But that's perfect fit for that as well. Pack of three from Dollar Tree for uh, a buck, not bad. You can decorate it, make it pretty, and put it inside. Or you can make cards, tags, whatever you want to put in there. Okay? Got it? Got it. So, not Santa. Anyway, guys, I think I'm going to head out to bed because it's like really three in the morning. I got to get up early. We're going to probably take Brianna somewhere and then I got to do schoolwork. I'm not going to probably be around. I'll be honest. I'm probably not going to be around too much 
because I do have some um, massive schoolwork that has to be done by Sunday night. So just so you all know. You're very welcome, Miss Vicky. Well, guys, I will see you guys probably at the latest Monday. Um, I'll see you guys. I mean, I'll probably be popping in and out of Facebook, and you guys can always send me messages or whatever. Um, that would be no problem. But definitely no tutorials until I get my schoolwork done. So, yes, good night. Good night, everyone. Thank you so much. Good for night, all, and thank you, May, for today. Yes, you're welcome, guys. And please check um, Aristi's videos if you haven't thank checked you. her videos. you want to put those links in there again, um, Aristi, before we No, leave? I don't know. It's the same people, so I don't have to overuse your chat. But thank you so much for the sound chat. Yeah, but they have didn't Sorry for the upsetting you. Yeah. Huh? Huh? Sorry for that part. Setting? No, you're fine. Okay. And now, Teresa, that May is over, I will come and get you. <laughs> Go fight, guys. Go fight. Fight. Yeah, fight now me. she loves me. Now she loves me, so he, he will avoid the you know, <laughs> kicking. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys. I hope this inspired you guys to make one, and um, that lady has a lot of beautiful tutorials, and I'm going to give it a try. I'm, it's been a while since I haven't done paper crafting, um, but, you know, she, she kind of is a very good person to check out. Anyway, till next time, guys. Bye. Bye-bye, y'all. Have a nice day. Don't forget to smack that thumb and leave me a comment, please. And Teresa says she loves you. Now it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> Hugs to all of you guys, and I hope you guys had all a wonderful Valentine's. And if you didn't, I hope that I was your Valentine's. Until next time, guys. Bye. Bye-bye.